Hello everybody and welcome to Top Tier Tutorials Episode 6. My name is Danarai and I'm joined by Omega XEN. But before we get into his introduction, I just want to say I'm happy to be back. This was an incredibly popular series when we started it and then stuff took a bit of a turn. There was the whole Evo thing and then there were a bunch of other things that I got involved in which I won't go into. But basically, I'm incredibly happy to be back. We've got patch 2.2. So all the stuff that you saw in the previous top two tutorials, most of it will be fine and be exactly the same. But some of it will be tweaked. But our first person back after patch 2.2 is Mr. Kwong Nguyen, better known as Omega XEN, giving us a tutorial on Taki. Mr. Omega XEN, take it away. Hello, this is Omega XCN. Um, thank you, Danarai, for having me. Uh, cool wick intro. Uh, I've been a Soul Calibur Taki player since uh, the beginning of time. Uh, you know, <laughs> way back Soul Edge, that kind of thing. But uh, definitely uh, looked into her uh, competitively, starting from Soul Calibur 2. And uh, there's something about this character I just can't get away from. Um, I basically main her uh, every game um, through... The good times, through the bad times, through the strange times, um, but I'm still uh, playing Taki in Soul Calibur 6, and honestly, this is the most fun I've had with uh, the character Taki since Soul Calibur 2, so um, super excited to do this uh, tutorial stream with uh, Danarai, and um, you know, can't wait to talk about some Taki. Talk about some Taki, you will. So, uh, for those of you, for those of you, for those of you who don't uh, or aren't regulars on the stream or didn't watch the old top tier tutorials, everything is uh, split into specific sections. Um, so I'll just go through them quickly. We have uh, part one is the play style, and then we move on to strengths, weaknesses, counterplay, combos, tech traps, frame traps, matchups buffs, nerfs, changes, and adjust adjustments. And then finally, we head on to conclusion. Um, so the format that I've always wanted for this type of tutorial is to make it kind of like, an, when we were talking earlier, Omega put it perfectly. It's just, you're sitting on a couch and you're talking to your friends about a subject. That's the kind of flow to this format that I really, really wanted because it makes it not only educational and uh, informational, or informative rather, but it also doesn't come off as stuffy and um, what's the word? not as strict as other tutorials are. So without further ado, Mr. Omega, let's get into the first section of the top tier tutorial episode six, Taki's playstyle. Okay. This is where I talk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this okay, is cool. this is where you use that wonderful voice of yours. Awesome, awesome. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, we talked a little bit about this, um, you know, before the stream. Um, but Taki's playstyle. Oh, let me get that controller. Uh, Taki playstyle is actually pretty versatile. Like, um, you know, she's always known to be kind of like the the rushdown style. Uh, you know, just get into your opponent's face and just uh, press some buttons, right? But like, she's also really effective just playing defensively as well. Um, and the reason for her flexibility is that her playstyle just kind of revolves around three key factors. And the first factor is that uh, her counter hit game slash lethal hit game uh, is very strong. Um, at the end of the day, she is a turn stealer and she is a counter hit fisher. Uh, so you can just kind of like do things. Um, let me set uh, the attacks. So you can do things like uh, bait, you know, if they whip something, boom. Or, you know, you're confident in your frame advantage. Boom, counter hit. Like, a lot of her damage does come from counter hits, and like she should be fishing to, uh, fishing for those counter hits uh, pretty much all the time. And uh, the lethal hit is a um, good mechanic in Soul Calibur 6, particularly for uh, Taki, because like her lethal hits like are like pretty common. Um, that's like good chunk of damage there just from A6 lethal. Um, so like, you know, this for example, like she just sidesteps something, gets a side hit, and then you know that's her lethal hit. Um, so yeah, she definitely wants to fish for, uh, the lethal hits, and she certainly want to, you know, fish for the counter hits, because she gets, like, a lot of damage, she gets knockdown, she gets oki, uh, and she has, a uh, ring out carry when she gets, uh, counter hits as well. Uh, so, like, you know, counter hit, Rai Rising K, you know, all the way to the ring, I can just do that, just, like, get them, you know, closer to the edge. 
um, <laughs> whether it's the wall or the, uh, you know, ring out. Um, but, like, even just, like, small stuff, like, um, you know, counter hit BAK, like, that's 50 damage. Like, that's nuts for a 14 frame counter hit. <laughs> that is incredibly, incredibly effective for a counter hit combo, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, rising AAA, like, look, look dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> and that's that is a, so much damage right there. And that's a Hori mid, right? So you catch his step, right. catch his duck. Yep, so this is, um, if you're sharp, this is, like, confirmable, too. So, like, you just look for the red, like, oh, cool, I'm just gonna mash 60 damage. Like, that's a safe horizontal mid. Um... Can't stress this enough, she's a counter hit fisher and she wants to find like opportunities to like bait the opponent and just like steal turns. And like that's like a majority of her damage. Mm -hmm. Um So I said three key points, uh that was the first turn, uh first point. Uh counter hit fisher, turn stealer. Um a common answer to that is like, okay, so um I'm fighting Taki, uh I'm just gonna turtle up. Um I'm just gonna let her hang herself or whatever. Yeah, and, you know, just mash those buttons, swing that Meki and that Maru. Yeah, because, like, you know, like, oh, possession. Uh, there's so many holes, I'm just going to interrupt whatever you do, right? Uh, so the second key factor is that she has... Uh, her guard break game is arguably the best in the game. So I'm like, okay, I want to punish my opponent for over-turtling. So, like, time to work that gauge, baby. That's 15% for a plus <laughs> two 30-frame 30, uh, 30 uh, special low. Like, okay, so, like, are you going to keep blocking now? Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. Like, so the whole point of that is, like, you know, obviously, like, not just get the, um, you know, the, the guard break and you can get, like, combo. Uh, that was a bad combo, but I'll, you know, go into that later. <laughs> um, but, like, you're, it kind of goes back to her, like, counter hit fish game, right? Right? So, like, you know, you're making your opponent really nervous and, like, you're trying to bait them to a bad counter poke. Um, in which case, like, you know, you can bait that, you know, take the plus two, you know, whip something. Oh, that's bad. Like, whip something, like, boom. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, that, now that, you're that is a Now classic. you're doing bad counter poke. <laughs> yeah. A plus B on Taki into whiff punish is, like, it's something that everybody encounters when they play Taki, especially in six. Absolutely, and then, or like, you can do that. <laughs> oh, that wasn't guaranteed. Okay, so whatever, but yeah, um, you her get, you get the gist. Great. Yeah. Um, so I guess I can go into a lot of things. Um, but oh, the details come later. But yeah, Garbage Game is excellent. Fifteen percent. Uh, you know, twenty percent that. Uh, you lose your turn. Uh, and my personal favorite, you know, uh, Possession B, which is like fifteen percent. Uh, plus four. Uh, full crouch, force crouch. Uh, ten chip damage. Like this is everything you want in a move but uh except you know it doesn't track really well but like who really cares like you just break so easily it's a great move yeah and she's also um also got some of the best block punishment in the game right oh yes so that is the the final key point um her block punishment um arguably best in the game um and that starts with her having the fastest interrupt in the game which is her meki her uh de uh, sorry, 2BA, 2B slide A. Uh, this is 8 frames, fastest move in the game, which means that moves that are minus 8 on block are kind of relevant for Taki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, like, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's damage, but, like, it's damage that no other character can, like, possibly get from, like, minus 8. Um, yeah, so we're, we're gonna go into the punishment later, but, like, her punishment game is, like, top tier. You know, this is... 10 frame knockdown, uh, she has a 12 frame mid, you know, mm -hmm. that's a chunk of damage, uh, and she has a 16 frame launcher. Um, and in 18 frames, you know, this is like a clean 70 damage, uh, this may be a wall combo, but, uh, yeah, some of the best block punishment in the game, uh, including the, the fastest 3B in the game, and just generally one of the best launchers in Soul Calibur 6. Yeah, that uh, is so, crazy. Right? So, like, um, so... What did we talk about? We talked about, you know, she's a counter hit fisher, she's a guard breaker, um, and she's uh, very you know, good at punishing. Yeah, block punishment. And, you know, and sometimes a whiff punishment, like you just seen there. Basic example, A plus B back step into 3B whiff punish is like, it's kind of like your bread and butter, right? You just kind of fish for that. Yeah, or even just like, you know, uh, plus frames like sidestep, you know? Yeah, um, yeah like, of course. I'm constantly baiting. Um, so this section is about play style, so like, those three points, Guard Breaker, Counter Hit Fish, or Punishment Game, um, that will benefit Taki players whether they want to rush down or play defensively. Um, so, like, uh, yeah, you just want to, like, hang back and just, you know, force a whiff, then, you know, you got, you know, you got 3B. 
uh, or they're going in with like you know a dumb button like uh, I don't know six six like baseball slide or something. Just like interrupt that shit before it happens. And you get counter hit. <laughs> <laughs> just do it, bro. Just interrupt it. Easy. Yeah, just like like you know she's like the fastest character in the game for a reason. So like you know like you want to fish for those counter hits and you want to just like interrupt your opponent from doing shit. Yeah. Um, yeah or or like you can play just like a basic style. You know, this is like a safe horizontal mid. Um, you know, uh, Tomahawk from California, and you know, he likes to play like this <laughs> just like get in his opponent's face, step guard, step guard. Oh, you're turtling? <laughs> I'm gonna throw you now. Yeah, it sounds like Jackie from, from the UK. Oh. <laughs> sounds exactly like Jackie from the UK. So you've Jack gone God. over, yeah, Jackie X, the X player. Hey, yeah, so you've oh, gone yeah. over her play style, which has pretty, pretty much included her strengths, but what about her weaknesses and her counterplay? So, like you're saying, her. Her strengths revolve around, or her playstyle revolve a lot around her strengths. Obviously, you know, she's got good, uh, good counter hits. She's got incredible guard breaks. She's got great block punishment. But what does she have that's bad, and how do you counter her strengths as well? Oh man. Uh, so like, anyone, and I'm just gonna put on like, uh, uh let's say Servi, just to put myself in the right mindset. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody Excuse hates Servi, and I love it. <laughs> Um, so, uh, what's frustrating for Taki is, like, if you can just, like, space her out, um, very specifically, um, I hate going against characters who can, like, uh, make use of their small, like, block disadvantages into a backstep. And that's especially problematic for Taki, uh, when that same character has, like, you know, heavy launchers or, like, a good whip punish game. Uh, so the gist of it is, like, I hate getting spaced out, um, and if it's a character that, like, um, you know, can run away or just like stick out long buttons and just like you know push her back and just like safely backstep and whip punish. Like, um, that can be really really frustrating for Taki because like, um, yeah, her rushdown is pretty good, but like in a day like her buttons are not that long range. Mm -hmm. Um, so characters like uh, on like Mina, Haramaru, um, Ivy, uh, just tools that just like push her back and they just like press the four direction. Um, that can make it, like, really tough for, uh, Taki. Uh, but not even, like, the long-range characters, like the zoners. Um, like, someone like Sofitia, even. Um, someone who just, like, takes, like, okay, just small block disadvantages, I'm gonna backstep and whip punish everything you do. Or a small block disadvantage, I'm gonna do 2-2-B. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, you know, it's, hey, it's my turn, but, you know, if you can run away, then they can really exploit the fact that she doesn't have that much range. And she basically has to take a risk. Like, 6 is A plus B, like... Solid move for chasing backstep, but it's still a risk since it can be sidestepped. Um, and you know she still has fast buttons, but like those fast buttons don't matter if like you know Taki feels like she's consistently out of range. <laughs> okay, so um, kind of the main the main counterplay aspect would be if you can space in neutral, but then obviously on some in some situations like maybe six six B on block, you're already pushed a little bit outside of uh, her ideal range, so just hit that four button. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Um, like, even stuff, uh, you just said it, right? 6SB? Like, okay, yeah. like, yeah, it's, exactly. it's, it's a great launcher, but, like, okay, now this feels bad. Because, <laughs> <now laughs> where, like, where do I go? Yeah. yeah. So, like, you know, if, if you're the Mina, then, like, you can just use those 12 frames to backstep, and, like, I have to, like, answer it. So I'm like, okay, cool. I gotta get back in. Um, or even, like, someone like, uh, oh, Mina again. Sorry, Mina players. Uh. <laughs> no, don't, never apologize to Mina players, especially not in this stream. But, <laughs> thank you so much for that. Um, but, like, you know, Mina just, like, okay, frame advantage, like, block, like, backstep, and just, okay, what you should do. Um, like, even if I don't take the bait and, like, I don't press a button, like, the opponent is still creating space between, um, his character and, you know, your Taki. So, mm -hmm. like, you know, that, like... It's easy to frustrate Taki, uh, just like, you know, spacing uh, small advantages and just, like, backing up. Um, and she can chase, uh, at least, like, as far as, like, the close range characters go. Um, she has uh, some of the best chase tools uh, in the game, but, like, at the end of the day, you know, she is a close range character and she still has to take a risk when she approaches. And she has to, like, mix it up when she goes in. Or mm -hmm. even just run and block, like, that works too, but, you know, the advantage goes to the person who, like, you know, runs away and, uh, you know, baits the... Uh, the person that's forced to rush down and get sure. it close. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and that is uh Okay. So yeah. obviously so you've gone through her strengths, weaknesses, how to counter her. 
Um, but what kind of person would you suggest picks up Tacky? Because you said you can play her quite defensively because she does have fast buttons and amazing block punishment. Um, but you can play a rushdown if you want because you can take advantage of her of her plus frame stuff like A plus B is plus two. <clears throat> you've got um, you've got possession B, which is plus four that does incredible damage. Uh, what kind of person person? <laughs> what kind of person <laughs> ideally would want to pick up Tacky? Uh, so the the main thing, uh, at least like for me, is that like, you know, if you want to play an execution character, like you know, A six like execution, but like a lot of reward. Um, but even better than that is just like her ability, to just like possession cancel. <laughs> like, mm. I love cancels. Like, I played like two D games like just a long time ago, and I still play them every now and then. So like, this is like the closest thing I can get to like Soul Calibur two exorcism cancel. Or like I can stance cancel. Um, I can do it in combos. Um, but you know, I'm saying like those two things are basically the same thing. Just like anyone who just like likes execution characters, mm -hmm. like you get reward for you know applying the execution, like such as having a 10 frame knockdown. Um, sure. And I think she's rewarding for people who put in the work. Um, on top of that, like you know, people who have like you know good memories and like have a, a ton of like game knowledge and like block punish data. Like, we talked about it before, best block punishment in the game. Um, you don't let any minus 8s go unpunished, you don't let any minus 12s go unpunished, and certainly not minus 16s, because you get a free launch. Oh, yes, we all know about that that block punish. Oh, oh do you know about this move? I, I don't think I talked about it at all. <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think people know about 3B. Please tell the people about 3B, Omega. Oh, God. Um, it is the best <laughs> move in the universe. <laughs> Yeah, but, but why is it the best use in the? Why is it the best moves best move in the universe? Uh, <laughs> uh, sixteen frames. Tech crouch, launch. Can't stress this enough. Te sixteen frames. Um, <laughs> did I mention it's sixteen frames? I think you uh, need to say it one more time so people really understand. Sixteen frame tech crouch launcher, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, man. And like the damage, like so. So launchers are like typically like 18 frames and you get like 49, 50 damage, right? 18 mm -hmm. frame launchers. She gets that damage in 16 frames. Like that is so upset. nuts to me. So upset. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she like the internet tells me Taki's bad, so shut up. Oh, I said, you're right. I'm sorry. Twitter said she's bad, so she, that must that must be correct. No, nah, but yeah. So like um. I, I feel like uh, we can go into the punishment uh, when, like, during the. Wait, is this the time? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, we're we're going over her uh, strengths, weaknesses, and play styles. So okay, so I'm probably getting ahead of myself a little bit. No, it's fine. I mean, we've gone through uh, the fact that she is a really good block punisher and a really good whiff punisher. So now would be the best time to go through the most optimal of all of those. Uh, do um. Sorry, uh, what was that? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> so, I mean, you've you talked about... I think you've talked about movement. If not, okay. go through movement. Uh, yeah, like, um, her sidestep is very good. And the whole point of her sidestep is to, like, look for those A6 uh, lethal hits. Um, and she has, like, the sidestep to do it. Uh, she also used, like, sidestep 3B. Just, mm -hmm. you know, I want to make sure you get some damage. Because A6 can be, like, a little wonky depending on, like, what you're with punishing. And sometimes you don't get the lethal hit. Um, but the damage is, like, certainly worth it. And her backstep is just okay. Um, you know, the zoning characters will, like, you know, kill you for it, but, like, as long as you do it at, like, good frame advantages, um, her backstep is okay. It's it's not great, but it's, like, I'm, I'm willing to qualify it as good. Sure. Um, but the whole point of the movement is to, like, you know, support your, um, you know, your counter-hit fish game. Mm -hmm. Especially um, to get that A6 special. Oh, dude, yeah, like, I can't stress this enough this is a 10 frame <laughs> is it only um, 10 frame with the just frame or uh well you can do like aa um but yes yeah yeah sorry um it is only 10 frames when you land just frame uh sure. if you mess it up you either just like you know get that which is like whatever or you get the 16 frame version or but you still get frame. lethal hit if you get a good side step in sure okay so that's basically what her movement is for to accommodate your incredible block with punishment game and especially that that a6 uh a6 lethal hit game yeah yeah you're using movement like um like i don't know taki's like like to play here but like you know she can still be effective like all the way over here like especially if you get like a life advantage and you're forcing your opponent to 
you know, run in and try to, like, start their offense. Uh, in which case, uh, we talked about it before, you know, nail them with counter hit 3B, uh, you do some kind of tech crotch move. Um, or if they're gonna run and block, just like, you know, mash their run-ins. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, so, uh, talked about our movement, um, but now let's go over the moves that you can do to block punish I-10s all the way up to, uh, I think you've got all the way up to I-18s. No, all the way up to 22s. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah um, let's go through those. Because, well, uh, I mean, I'll... like you say, her block punishment is probably the best pun uh, the best block punishment in the game for any character. So it's probably best that we go over the very specifics of what you don't want to try and get hit by if the tacky knows what your, what your mine is at. Uh, okay, uh, is, it, is it okay if I start with 8-frame, uh, or uh, you're thinking something different? No, go from 8-frame. I mean, that's her quickest Great. move, and she can punish 8-frames in this game. Okay, um... So I'm gonna just throw up Amy, and uh, oh. <laughs> again, I'm excited. <laughs> of course, you're laughing. <laughs> I mean, look, as long as you're killing Amy or Servi or Mina, I'm happy with who you have on screen. Oh, wonderful. Um, just do you know Maxi about this Amy move? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lagging a little bit. Uh, do you know about this Amy move? <laughs> oh, what? Three B? Uh... Yeah, I don't know if uh, you've ever uh, seen that before, ever from an Amy. I player. mean, only, you know, 50% of the time in close range, other than 1B, you know, or 3A, one, oh, of those, one of those three moves. Well, I got just a character for you, and her name is Taki. Um, that is minus 8, but if I can execute, um, uh, yeah, that's a block punish. <laughs> Damn, okay. Uh, but even better than that, um, so it's 10 damage, it's, you know, whatever, but, like, she can switch into uh, Possession. Sure. Uh, which is like, you know, that's kind of like your mix-up. So like, you know, you get your block punish, and then, you know, you can start your, like, offense right there. Uh, also, you can do, like, that, just like get out of possession, but like get a bit of uh, chip damage from possession B slide A. Oh, so, um, so it could be useful for Takis instead of trying to go for 4 BA, um, what is it, slide BA, or AB, you just go from neutral possession into that. Uh, yeah, and, um, you know, obviously, like, 4BA, that's a slower move. Um, this here is minus 8, so, like, 4BA, um, you know, won't punish it, but, like, this 8 frame, like, will, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but even, like, uh, uh, no, yeah, that's a good point. Like, even if it's, like, my minus 12 or something, like, you know, this can be worth it. Um, I guess if it's, like, laggy and you really just want to ensure... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get something out. If it's like, um, have you played Soul Calibur Six in the last two years? It's great. Lol, Shut lol. Up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but more important than that, so um, that's block punish. But like, check out the damage on counter hit. So counter hit, she gets a free combo. A lot of people don't know this. Oh, please execute, Kwong. Uh, oh, that's, uh, what? That's thirty damage off an I eight Danarai. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean. In theory, I can see why people would be like, whoa, that's insane. But that's still execution that you have to do, right? And yes. you also have to know a move is minus eight. You have to hit a minus eight punish perfectly to get that, especially if yep. they're caught mashing. So, yeah. Yeah, you have to execute, but like, you know, we talked about it earlier where, like, you know, what's, uh, who would, what players would like, um, you know, Taki? Like, you know, players who, like, spend some time in the lab and just like, oh, that's cool. I want to try this in, like, an actual match. Yeah. That is pretty sick. I can't lie. And like, this is the reward. You get 14 frames worth of damage in an 8-frame move. Um, Because, you know, 30 damage, that's like a typical, like, you know, average 14 frame, right? Like, mm -hmm. maybe 12 frames in some cases. But you get that shit in 8 frames. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, that is a very good point. You get it in 8 frames. That is incredibly strong. Can't lie. Um. So, yeah. Uh. So, like, stance, like, opponent pressure situations, like, this A-frame can be, like, extremely useful, which is, like, you know, a way for Taki to get herself out of situations that, like, other characters can't get themselves out of. Uh, precisely because she has the only A-frame move in the game. Um, seven frames, if it's, like, perfect execution. Um, <laughs> but, like, it's close to inhuman, you can get it. But, yeah, just it's easier just, like, think of it as an A-frame interrupt. Uh, seven frames if, like, you're perfect. Wow, okay. So... Seven frames is probably more accurate, and six frames is inhuman. So if you ever see that on any like frame data sheets, um, 
six frames is like impossible. <laughs> is Seven it, at best. Is it? Is it it's, technically possible? Like somebody could get it out at i six, or is like, it actually impossible? A robot? Um. Yeah, like a, a robot yes. with one hundred percent execution. <laughs> Um, I would say yes. I know that like out of many minus sixes, um, I've never got it once. Um, sure. And I'm pretty sure it's inhuman. But like, if you're a robot, like a literal robot, like no human organs or anything, then I think it's technically possible. <laughs> and maybe we can test that in the future, Denerai. Like, I don't know if we can do an actual like laboratory with like you know computers and. That and would shit. be amazing. Yeah. Optimal punishes for all with my new robot, <laughs> robot staffed punishment lab. That'd be great. Like, why do you have 10 computers connected? Oh, yeah, we want to see uh, Mechie. <laughs> we want to <laughs> see I6 Mechie, obviously. That's why. All right, so we've um, gone over her I8 to I6 punishes. What about her, her I10 onwards? Uh, 10 frames? Yeah. Uh, let's see, 10 frames. Um, remember when I said, like, Taki has the best black punishment in the game? Mm hmm. Can't stress it enough. So. I guess your uh, we talked about this a little earlier. Uh, your average like you know fourteen frame move, you get like about thirty like early thirties like worth of damage, right? Yeah, right about. Uh, uh, she gets that shit in ten frames. <laughs> um, that's thirty two damage, and it's a knockdown. So like you know a lot of fourteen frame punishers, um, you know excluding like the weird ones like Sophitia, um, it's usually some kind of like BB for like thirty thirty two damage or something, right? But mm -hmm. yeah, you get. You know, the damage of a 14 frame into a 10 frame, and you get a knockdown to boot. So, like, you can start your mix-up after that. Um, but even more insane than that, Danarai, is that, like, that's not the end of it. Um, <laughs> of this is a natural is. combo. Oh. This is the damage of your average 16 frames. 43. The damage uh, yeah. of average 16 frames, and you get that in 10 frames. <laughs> 43 damage is nothing to sniff at. Yes, so, like... I feel like any character that has this, like, can't be bad. <laughs> like, this is a lot of damage for just 10 frames. You just have to execute. If you're just focusing on block punishment, it's, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. If, if block punishment is your thing and you like being close range, play tacky. You don't have to do anything else. Just block Dude. punish everything for three rounds and you win. <laughs> I mean, you're going to spend a lot of time looking at, like, frame data sheets, but, like, it's worth it. Um, So... I lied to you a little bit, Danarai, because uh -oh. we're in a new patch, right? <laughs> 2.2. Yep, so they just recently um, made this techable, but not 100%. I'm still exploring, but uh, oh, in a lot oh. of cases, you can actually like tech this to the right, um, which is the um, which is like the, the patch note about um, they nerfed the tracking on Winroll B. But like, Taki still doesn't care. Because you know why? Uh, <laughs> I like all of these leading questions. Do you know why? Hmm. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let us, uh, let yourself ponder about this. Um, oh my god, you're teching. You get that 10 damage at anyway. <laughs> you know, 32, big tech up. Uh, right, yeah, because while you, that's not, you can't move, right? POB is guaranteed on block there. Like, you can't actually do anything else. If you check this, uh, you gotta hold this. Um, and this isn't even, like, better situation than this, right? Because, like, you know, here, you get the free damage, but, like, your opponent can recover faster than you. But, like, here, you're getting the same damage, but you get plus four, uh, for force crouch, all that. <laughs> so it's, basically, it's basically a force block situation. Yep. And, and then, then, like, and then like the worst situation is you could get, what, POB, guard crush into lethal hit combo? Well, yeah, absolutely. Like, this is, like, eating this 10 frame is still, like, a bad situation for the person eating it. Um, and then if they lay in the ground, like, this will catch all rolls. Man, uh, I'm gonna play Taki now. <laughs> play Taki, dude! <laughs> she is hella fun, I can't lie. Like, even if I'm just messing around with her in ranks or something, just all of the hilarious things that you can do. Oh, beautiful. Dude, like, oh, I'm Taki. Like... It's so much fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, like this point will be reiterated, um, you know, again and again. Like the execution just like is a lot of fun for me and like I love I love canceling, you know? I just love like baiting my opponent into like, you know, bad situations. Yeah. Um and this ten frame is just like whatever. Um 
And we spent a lot of time on this 10 frame, but, you know, I have to say this one more time. <clears throat> uh, her lethal hit uh, is from a side hit. Um, yeah, so A6 matter. lethal it's... is from uh, side turned. Yep, side hit. So, like, you know, she wants to step because she's looking for this. And, like, oh, come on, execute. Okay. Like So good. So good! That's 10 frame! <laughs> and that's not even, like, the most damage combo. I just need one more damage. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> One more damage. <laughs> Must get damage. Right, so, like you said, we've spent a lot of time on uh, I-10 because it is an incredible move. Um, but you go all the way up to I-22 for your uh, block punishes. Uh, so let's go through those. Let's go on to, let's go on to I-12 next. Okay, I-12. Um, so, ideally, as long as it's um, minus 10 to minus 14... Uh, A6 is your, you know, go-to punisher for mm -hmm. all things, right? Because the knockdown is worth it. And, like, her Oki game is actually really strong. Like, it sets up a good Oki game. Um, but sometimes uh, she can be out of range. So at minus 12, she has 4 BA, uh, which combos into possession B slide A. Um, so you technically get more damage than A6. Mm -hmm. Um... But it just turns into a standing mix-up, so you're like you're at plus zero, but like the damage is very very good, and you know plus zero for Taki is like still like frame advantage for like a lot of the cast because you know she has I eight, she has I ten, you know she can like <laughs> uh, she she can get counter hits if uh, you know your opponent is like mashing here. Sure. Uh, but this this is neutral on hit, and it's more range than um than A six, so like this is just your go to if it's like minus twelve minus fourteen. Like, that's a lot of damage. Um, and again, that's like 37 damage. So that's like um, a lot of 16 frame moves, a lot of 14 frame moves um, worth of damage, but you get this in 12. Yeah. So, so like, that's the pattern here. Like frame by frame, like her block punishment damages is like higher than like anyone in the cast. Um, as long as you're like ignoring the the weird cases, like, um, you know, Mitsurugi Shura Blade or uh, Tira uh, Gloomy, but like just normal punishes, like Taki's unmatched in damage at least. I can see that. I can see clearer than ever. So basically, from I-10 to I-14, you say A-6 is probably your best bet. But you can do, uh, if you just want more damage straight up without maybe the execution barrier of uh, A-6 lethal, or sorry, A-6 just frame, you could do 4 BA into B slide A. Uh, actually, yeah, and, um, and one thing, um, uh, we have a section for uh, rising punishes, but since Even we're talking about 4 BA, um, you know, like... It is a four direction, so like it comes out instantly in Soul Calibur Six when, um, you know, you're in full crouch. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, do, do, so like just any low like in the world, like just block punish it with four BA. Um, a lot of it are like minus twelve, minus fourteens, and this is like a solid punisher from like full crouch. Um, as far as like full crouch punishes, like this is still like a lot of damage. Um, twelve frames full crouch. I don't think. I think she's she still uh, out damages like everyone here, uh, even in the while rising punishment world. That, <laughs> yeah, while rising punishes. I mean, aside from maybe launches, uh, yeah, four BA is ridiculous. Yeah, but like not not like I twelve though. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. Of course not. I think, yeah, yeah I think the best I twelves are probably what 15, 16 damage sometimes, maybe a bit uh, more. Sixteen, yeah. Uh, yeah. Siegfried uh, gets a launch at 16, but um, yeah. right. damage from 12 frames is like pretty good. But like, you know, Taki still out damages that. Yeah, for sure. Um, so did I talk about enough about how awesome this 12 frame is? Uh, yeah, you can perform it for full crouch. Uh, tried and true. Um, oh, okay, one last thing. Um, so yeah, you get damage, but like you're plus zero. But like maybe you want to continue your like advantage. Mm -hmm. Um. You can invest a little damage, so like that's twenty. Okay, so like seventeen damage, you put it away, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you decide to invest. This is plus ten into possession. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do anything yeah. except block. <laughs> yeah, so like, so yeah, like you know, a lot of times like the free damage, but like, if you want to press, you know, that's ten damage plus four, uh, and then like you can go into your next miss up cool like you put away 17 damage and you came in, came out of it with like 70 plus <laughs> for example Whoa. so like if you want to make a bet like this 12 frames can like 
set you up really nicely because it's once again plus 10 on hit or you can do like uh bait you know cancel your possession yeah like I mean, UB this, baits is where, this is where still work to this dude. day what's that UB baits still work to this day <laughs> yeah. as soon as anybody sees fire it's immediately pressing two or eight yeah dude like oh, this is this oh this is the fun stuff right here dan right like you know you can cancel <laughs> if you want nine like, of course <laughs> What DJ? I love it. Wait, 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 9A. Uh, mix up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, so 12 frames, like, the, the amount of situations is, like, similar to A6. You know, like, you can get pure damage, which is still better than, like, most I-12s. Or you can, you know, take advantage of plus 10 and, like, try to get more damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, I love this move, Dan. <laughs> like, I can tell. Well, A6 and 4BA are incredible moves. What about oh. uh, what about her I fourteen or rather minus fourteen punish? All right, because... last thing, last thing about the twelve, last thing. Okay, I promise. Yeah. Go, dude. Uh, so um, this is almost like trivia. Uh, not a lot of people know this. Um, so if you're ever in a pub quiz and this question comes up, you'll, you'll know yep. the answer. So like, <laughs> almost everyone uh, knows that like you know this doesn't jail on block. It can be ducked, right? Um, what if I told you that uh, you can make a jail? <laughs> See that? It's like magic. Yeah. Why is she ducking? <laughs> um, this jails on block. So like, you know, if you're ever commentating or like playing a Taki and like you swear you duck this, it's probably because you know you blocked it at tip range. Well, it's it's, and, it's a kind of similar thing to her six AA on counter hit, right? Tip range it will combo, close range it won't. Absolutely, yeah. Or is um, it the opposite? I don't I think it's the opposite, right? Uh, tip range, you get uh, this combo. Yeah, yeah. Tip range, it will combo. Close range, it won't. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure why they gave her like a Sung Mina style tip range mechanic, but like it exists. It's there. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, like on block, this is like a good situation because like she's plus four, so like it's still her turn. But like, it's still really scary because like if they duck it, then like too many characters can kill you for it. Um, yeah. But. Yeah, that's the last cool thing about 12 frames. So we can move on to 14 frames now, unless uh, there are any questions. Uh, we will take questions at the end. I did put in chat, but I think a few more people have turned up. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat. I'll put them in a WordPad document, and then I'll ask them at the end uh, if we have time. Yeah, moving on to 14. Okay. Uh, you might see a pattern, because like, her 14 frames are good. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess I'll get the bad thing uh, out of the way first. Um... So her first chain frames is uh is her B series or uh, BK. Um, in a lot of fourteen situations, uh, unfortunately, like there's a lot of pushback moves in Soul Calibur Six. So like a lot of times, like they'll just be out of range of uh of BK. Um, who's fourteen frames? Oh, Serpy. Do, 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 do. <laughs> By the way, one of the best things added in Patch Two Point Two is the ability to switch characters so quickly in training mode oh, god bless and i i, I plan to abuse this <laughs> <laughs> as, you as you should as you should uh let's see so uh, deep breath do, do, do. let's see so i'm gonna have you guard but then you're gonna do right 3b so okay so that's minus uh this is minus 14 right okay but like tip range like it gets awkward or maybe i should just do this more often Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's a whiff. Um, you've basically, so that's like just, you've basically just answered Conmai's question as well. Does she have block punish range issues? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Obviously. Um, so <laughs> evidently, rather. And um, so this is her most like consistent like block punishment. Like, um, I it's it's rare to get like um range issues uh if you're using four BA as a block punishment. Like, it's actually super reliable. Um, but you do have range issues when you try to do, like, A6, but, like, mm -hmm. you know, it's not that bad as long as you have 4 BA. It's, like, it has, it actually has, like, a huge hitbox, um, and it's, like, pretty consistent, but you can't say the same about her, like, 14 frame B, which is unfortunate. You know why it's unfortunate? <laughs> because... Why is it unfortunate, Omega? I'm minus 14. This is the same damage as 4 BA this, right? Mm -hmm. Same damage. Yeah. Um, except, while 4 BA into possession b side a puts you at plus zero this is plus six 
Well, they get plus plus six and back and put it his back turn. So yeah. Oh, yeah. And like this, such this is so awkward. Uh, on top of plus six, so like, Taki has fast buttons. So like, this is like a scary thing to challenge. So like, if you're just gonna hold that, then you know she gets side throw. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But if you're standing there like an idiot, then she gets um, a six lethal hit. Oh, that's a range <laughs> for Sturdy. So. And not pressing the G button after that. Yeah. Why? Why aren't you pressing G? Like. That's a terrible situation to be in, uh, and I didn't execute there, but that's fine. Um, so that's our 14 frames um, as far as like block punishment. But uh, the beauty about the 14 frames is that like she probably has the best B series in the game, um, arguable. Um, you know, we can talk about this as like a community on Twitter or whatever. But like mm -hmm. she has so many different paths from um, from B. Um, is it okay if we go into the B series a little bit? Yeah, sure, go for it. Okay. Um, so obviously we just talked about this. Um, so like, I guess for, uh, newer players or just anyone just checking out Taki, um, I think the first thing you should explore, like, besides, like, her block punishment is, like, just her B-series. So, like, if you're just kind of, like, pressuring normal, like, her B-series is very good. Um, so, let's see. Okay, so this is technically, like, just, like, punishable on block right here, mm -hmm. BB. However, she has a third B, which is... Yeah. Uninterruptible and safe. I'm sure you've eaten this before, huh? <laughs> I think everybody has, yeah. Like, uninterruptible? Oh, why didn't you do 3B there? Whatever. Um, but yeah, that's really tight. lying to uh, us. It jails. It jails. He's <laughs> lying. Damn it, CPU. Do things. Um, but <laughs> the, the, the point still stands. Like, um, yeah. her BB is just like her go-to. But even better than that is BA. Um, the best change they did is the fact that this now like restands on a crouching opponent, so like you can actually you, do this in neutral. Are you joking? It, it used to be that way, yes. Um, but now, yeah. Um, if you're crouching when you eat this BA, uh, you're holding that. This is a natural combo. So it restands people if you do BA. Uh, yes. Uh, crouching guard. Wait, is that gonna do it? Yeah, my poor boy Mitsu can't <laughs> can't, can't get it happening on Wall Rising AA. <laughs> There's so many characters in the game who don't have that ability on a move like that. Why? Why, Okubo? Please, just make no, them... No, dude! Oh. Shut up! Give it. <laughs> Taki deserves it. I mean, I'm not saying she doesn't deserve it. I'm saying everybody else does. Like, if look, to be honest, this is just a very quick tangent. Mitsurugi has had that problem forever. While rising A into... Well, yeah. While rising A is a really good horizontal mid. Nobody's going to argue that. Sure. But the fact that it doesn't restand on Wall Rising AA to get like the actual full thing is criminal. Like I'm good sad job that now Tacky gets that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, why didn't you uh, confirm that you know it was on hit? Well, that's not the point. Because <laughs> they can they can duck it on hit, like if you eat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Anyway, please carry on. <laughs> it's just me and my. So uh, if you're sad about Mitsu, Taki could be a character for you. Cause... <laughs> 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 there you go. If you ate Mitsu, pick up Taki. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Um, so well, I think they yeah. nerfed his AA and BB damage, right? Does her does Mitsu's okay. BB damage? Yeah, I think they did. Does it now do? Does Taki's AA and BB damage do similar to Mitsu's now? Mm -hmm. There's no Let's way. See, that's so this is her BB, but like you know at. 12 frames, uh, she gets this anyway, which is unmatched. Yeah. But, uh, uh, Missy should have 30 frames uh, solid, right? Um, I know this is a Taki tutorial, but like... Uh, duh, 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 duh. Testing stuff in relation to Taki is always important, too. <laughs> I, I agreed, agreed, agreed. This would be really quick. Thanks to the character switch change option. 26. I mean... Is, I it, mean... I mean... I mean... That's two less damage. <laughs> Tanky does two less damage on her BB than Mitsu. Which doesn't matter because she has a 12 frame mid that does 37 damage that anyway. Does, so. Yeah, exactly. I missed that. Um, <sighs> so, yeah. Anyway, um, ca carrying on before I get too depressed, 4BA is great. <laughs> and so is, so is her BB series. Yeah, be happy. Um, yeah. Like, oh god, like, this is like an entire guide you can be just her B series alone. But um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you, uh, probably my favorite thing about her BB is that, like, you know, she can shift into possession, but like that's not the end of the story. Um, so in Soul Calibur Six, um, 
what should I say? So in the previous games, her possession shift was like a two one four, or like you have to like hold a direction, right? Mm -hmm. But in Soul Calibur Six, to transition into possession, you just have to tap the four button, oh, uh, which is actually huge because this allows you to hit confirm. Oh so, yeah, makes sense. Right. So like on block, okay, I'll do BBB or like you know I'll just uh I'll just let this go. But like as soon as I confirm like a hit, like oh press four, now I'm in possession. And like her BB on hit into possession is probably one of the best transitions in the game. And I can show why. Here you go. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have him do a let's smash two A just to make sure that the bot gets it. Okay. He understands. Yes. Uh, boo boo boo. Okay, so one of the best transitions in the game. So like, so this is more execution because you have to do a tiny, tiny possession rush here. Um, oh. why do you have to do a possession rush? Because it's like a crouch cancel, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost like a crouch cancel. So yeah. like, if you're just mashing this low. Like, look how slow it takes her. Like, she has to, like, complete her, like, <laughs> you know, is actually animation. ridiculous. But you just cancel that shit. No, that wasn't a cancel. With a possession rush, and that's uninterruptible. That's, uh, I think that's a 24 frame low. And that's, uh, it beats two A's. <laughs> Jesus. That's like Setsuka 236 levels of execution, where the move comes out quicker and you tech crouch faster with a specific input. That's insane. I had no yeah. idea that existed. Yeah, it's um it's hilariously it's a it's a similar like thing she had in uh like a previous game. Uh we mm -hmm. had to do a tiny possession cancel uh, to just get better transition frames. So if you look kind of like the inputs at the bottom, uh that's kind of like how you do it. Like as soon as the second B like lands, just do like a quick 6 6, but like you don't want to see an actual like possession dash. Sure. Uh and that's how you get uh, but, like, that's just from a 23 frame low. So, like, imagine, like, you know, that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, why are you matching, son? Take this 70 damage. Oh. Oh, it's so much damage. It's not even yeah. a lethal hit. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then, like, you know, if they're going to if they're gonna turtle, like, obviously, like, uh, you know, like, eh, take this plus four, dude. Yeah. Or, you know, take this possession cancel into a throw. Or, right, you know, what take about <laughs> before I get more depressed <laughs> at this character's block cancelling, uh, block punishing? What about her I sixteen? Because okay, I know I we're all waiting to hear about her I sixteen block punishment. Ooh, I sixteen. Uh, one last thing about fourteen frames. Uh, sorry about the deja vu. Um, <laughs> Go for it. so just uh, just her B series. Mm -hmm. So like, if you just want like basic pressure, just to kind of get yourself started with um with her B series or with mm -hmm. just with the character in general. Um, she has a neat mix up from B A. So you can do B A K, uh, which yes. is uninterruptible, and you get counter hit. So like this is kind of like what it looks like. Oh wait, never mind. Um, I need to uh block first two guard, and then I guess you can just do it that way. It's like uninterruptible. Actually, wait, I have two A recorded. Uninterruptible. Um, they can duck it, but then you have B A six K, which is also uninterruptible, but it's steppable. So, like, this is kind of a neat mix-up. It's a um, great mix-up, yeah. But that's not the end of the story. It's like, obviously, you can do BA possession. Um, yeah, it'll get interrupted, but, like, you know, you can bait potential counter pokes. Uh, and obviously, I talked about, um, you know, the fact that you can hit confirm possession transitions. So, mm -hmm. like, oh my god, I'm on hit. Time to, like, take advantage of my frame advantage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> insanity. So, Pure insanity. So yeah, so that's um we can move on to the 16 frames, but like I really want to emphasize like you know explore her B series. It's really good. Um, just B A mixups is just like a good way to like start things off when you're like learning Taki. Um, you just do this all day. It's a mixup. You can get punished for it, but like you know your opponent has to show that they're willing to punish it, and you have like a million options just from this <laughs> restanding <laughs> mid high on hit. Yeah, great move. <laughs> right onto uh onto her I 16. I 16s. Um, oh, sorry, I didn't finish out uh, 14 frames. Um, there's a uh, 3kk. It, it just be quick because um, I don't oh, prefer right, it. Oh right, yeah, 3kks. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so at 14 frames, like this is like generally less damage, right? Um, the advantage of 3kk is that it has 
more range than single B. And that's actually probably the only advantage, but <laughs> um, but there's more to it. So on hit, um, she can go into win roll, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so she kind of has a mix up here, um, debatable whether you know you should like pursue this in a match or not, but like it's it's worth mentioning. Um, that's uninterruptible on hit. It's big risk, <laughs> obviously, because like you know stalker B is pretty bad on block, but like you know if they're mashing, then like you know you get damage. Slash uh, ring out potential. True. Um, why aren't you doing two A, Serby? Do 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 do. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so do 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 do. Uninterruptible, uninterruptible. And then you know if they're uh, if they're turtling, then like you can go cool plus zero. Thanks for the ten chip damage. <laughs> or empty wind roll to throw. She is mix up uh, intensive as fuck. Right? So, like, you know, her mix-ups are not like, oh, you know, knock down low, we're a launcher. Like, her mix-up is, like, you know, uninterruptible or, like, you know, take this plus four and block kind of thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> cool. um, so that's a bit... So this, so this is worth exploring. Um, I don't use this often, but, like, perhaps I should in the future. Um, this, like, can be pretty neat if implemented well. So that's it for 14 frames, I promise. <laughs> are you sure you're not going to bust out, like, four other moves? Wait, 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 I got one more. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, we can go to 16 frames. Wow. All right. You got um, Toothpaste SC in the chat saying, good luck tonight, Omega. Oh, 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 that's a uh, Florida man. What's up, man? Oh, is it? Why does this man never have the same name as he has everywhere <laughs> else? Always confusing. I, I think he just, like, tired of people asking if he's from Florida. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> All right, on to uh, I-16s. And, uh, oh, because... baby. <laughs> so just just very, very quickly, the rest of our punishes, are they kind of... Like, are they worth going over as in-depth as the previous ones, or...? Uh, so um, so from after 16 frames, uh, she, like, starts falling off a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so from here on out, um, it will be shorter. <laughs> sure, well, I was just going to say, because the, the more... The more prevalent block punishes will be up until, like, I-16, maybe some characters have I-18s, but... Yeah, if yeah. you could uh, make the the next ones a bit more succinct. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, it'll be quick. Um, we talked about oh, this yeah. already. You yeah, go go through go through I sixteen and tell everybody yep. why we should hate it. Um, you should hate it because uh, <laughs> this is a damage of your normal eighteen frame launcher once again, and she gets us at sixteen frames. But she has tech crouch on top of that. Um, and in neutral game, like it can be really annoying because you know it's it comes out fast. It's tech crouch. Uh, it has like pretty okay range um do 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 that's how i do it and then like if he gets counter hits then like you know you, you've eaten counter hit before like yeah oh god um she gets a six um and she gets like a like okie right here there it is so um so i want to talk about 3b for the next two hours but um <laughs> <laughs> Before we can just move past it, like, I, this move is great. Um, but block punishment-wise, like, yeah, 16 frames, it's awesome. Um, and she... So I want to talk about the, the uh, full crotch uh, RCC stuff. Uh, I don't know if now's the time to do that, or we'll just, like, wait, wait it out. Um, what do you think? Well, we do have a section for... Uh, mm, I don't know, maybe. So, um, so well, firstly, I, what I want to ask you is, because people hate... 3B so much, and then we can go on to RCC. Um, what is the counterplay to 3B and 3B hold? Like, is there anything that's kind of like a catch-all for most characters, or is it really just trying to react to it on block, especially 3B hold? Uh, it's it's a little bit both. Um, it's hang on. Oh, sorry, I had to burp a little bit. <sighs> Too much water. Feel free uh, so... to burp on stream. I don't care. <laughs> um, the go-to is just like. Wait and react. Mm -hmm. um, ooh, a second burp. <laughs> okay, yeah. So um, the go-to is just, like wait on react because like, um, I think a common punish is like someone like you know Amy once again your favorite character. <laughs> uh, she can let me put this on guard. So yeah, why not? So like she's honestly pretty vulnerable here. Um. Even with, like, the back step, like, yeah, she can go into, like, you know, the low, but, you know, can't really... Oh, she can do a mid here. Uh, so, 
Uh, sorry, but okay. So the counterplay is like wait and react. So like, if you can react to like not stalker, then like a fast punisher like a 10 frame or a 12 frame, uh, can do you good here because you know even though this is like minus 16 without stalker, uh, you need to give yourself a little time to react to the fact that I'm not going to stalker. Sure. Um, but like the key is just like don't. I would say don't be too um eager to like just like punish this and assume it's not going stalker like it's important just like to just wait it out um and then when she's stalker she it's actually kind of scary for like the taki player um so like if you can just like react to the moment she like lands on her feet like that's your time to punish mm -hmm. okay. um and the very important thing and i need Servi to like stop moving <laughs> um this is highly punishable um this will counter hit like bad attempts to, you know, interrupt the, the stalker landing. But, like, this is, uh, minus, like, 20. Like, she is highly punishable here. Um, uh. the point is, like, you know, it's it's a risk for Taki. And, like, oh, okay. you know, this, this is technically not real. Um, you know, because, like, she can't do, like, you know, a mid. So, like, no real mix-up here. Unless it's front turn. But, like, a lot of times, like, 3B, she's, like, going over. Um, so I would say that would be the counterplay, just like, it's, it's funny because like, it seems like every character has their own like, uh, OS to like, deal with this. Mm -hmm. Um, common thing I've seen is like, Amy 2-2-B, like, she just waits, it's like, oh cool, she's doing that, I'm gonna do 2-2-B. Or, oh, she's not going to Stalker, I'm gonna do, um, 6-B, for example. Uh, right, so, okay. in conclusion, uh, yeah, you have to be patient about it and just like, you know, wait it out. Uh, worst case, you just block it and, like, you know, just go back to neutral, um, which is kind of Taki's weak point, uh, even though her counter get hit game is so strong. Okay. Well, thank you for going over uh, 3B counterplay. But, yeah, feel free to go into RCC stuff, because if the rest of the block punishment stuff isn't as in-depth, then we've got time. Oh, sure. Um, uh, what's minus 18? I'm going to have to refer to cassandra or maybe it's not important but uh i'll just do cassandra anyway mm -hmm. um so i think i saw a comment a long time ago where it says that um taki's like wild rising game is um wild rising punishment game is not that good um but with rcc it's probably one of the best in the game uh do 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 and i hope it's okay that i'm like abusing these training mode settings so much no it's fine training mode is there for this purpose uh, let's see. What is minus 12? Okay, that's minus 12. Uh, but... Okay, sure, that's fine. Uh, so this is a minus 14 low. Just abuse it. Um, so RCT is two frames, right? So if you're doing something uh, that's standing, uh, you just take the execution frames of that move, just add... Um, sorry, technically you... You add two frames to that. So mm -hmm. if you're doing RCC A6, that comes out at 12, right? Mm-hmm. For people uh, so, who, who may be watching who don't know what RCC is, how would you explain it? Uh, so it's a recover crouch cancel. So mm -hmm. it's um, for the low, low price of two frames, it will allow you <laughs> access to um, your like standing moves uh, from full crouch. So you're essentially canceling your like frames of you know going from crouch to stand. Yeah. You're canceling those frames, and that allows you to instantly go into your standing punishes. And the biggest example uh, of this, I would say, would be full crouch 3k into 3b with Yoshi. That's like the most yes. the most common one that you'll see. Yes, and that is a combo. But um, uh, even like harder than that is just like doing it as a block punishment. So, so you see that? Like I just got a knockdown oh, from CC blocking a minus punishes. 14 low. What a mad lad. Yep. Uh, the important thing is that like you know they're not recovering crouching, but if they're recovering standing, then you get a knockdown low as long as I can like execute during his leg. Okay, there we go. And that is relevant for minus 12s and up that recover standing. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, and same thing with, uh, let's see, if it's minus 16. So minus 16, I believe, will be Cassandra's that. Okay. So minus 16, uh, you get the BK that I talked to you about before. Mm -hmm. uh, where it's like, okay, block, like, pushback, like, makes this kind of, like, iffy, but, like, RCC, it's a great punish if I can execute. Um, you might have to trust me that it works. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. We will trust there you. There it is. Okay. Um, so, that is really relevant, because that is plus six, but, like, 
you know, that's part of Taki's appeal. Like, you know, she's rewarded for execution, but you just have to execute. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to talk about that because um, I wanted to talk about, like, that, that was in relation to 3B. Um, if she can block anything that's minus 18 low or, like, worse, uh, she can get RCC 3B. A uh, great example of that would be um, when she is fighting Yoshi, because she uh, Yoshi's got full crouch uh, 3K, right? He does indeed. Uh, so if you block that, um, you know, characters like Raphael gets, like, 2 through 6 B for, like, lethal hit, but, like, Taki um, does not have that benefit. She actually has to, like, you know, do, like, a workaround. So that's RCC 3B. Um, Ridiculous. <laughs> that is relevant for minus 18s and worse from full crouch. Um, that also applies to Amy 1B. Is there not um, a bigger punish that you could get from Amy 1B? Or is that literally the best punish if you are... Not, if you're that would actually be the best too. punish. That would be the okay. best punish. Uh, so you notice that, like, she does kind of, like, start falling off, like, after, like, 16 frames. But, like, mm -hmm. just the fact that her punishment is so good up until 16 frames is just, like, it still makes her, like, one of the best, like, punishment characters in the game. Mm hmm Okay. Um, so, like, if you want to explore, you know, really get into punishment, um, RCC is really good. Um, just look at the block disadvantages of the opponent's move and just add two frames to your execution. <laughs> yeah, easy as that. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, and I guess well. I can just say one last thing about... Um, actually, we can get into the I-22 later. Um, but yeah, so we we spent a lot of time, um, you know, up until 16 frames, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Um, her 18 frames, it's okay. Um, so it was Kanmai who asked if uh, Taki has like um, you know range issues when it comes to block punishment. Mm -hmm. um, that's relevant at 18 frames. Uh, yeah, she get 3B, but her best 18 frame punish is actually um, 6 b because you get lethal, but you have to be close. Okay. So <laughs> the result is that because like you know the. The fact that there's so much pushback in the game, um, there's a lot of times where, like, she would not get the lethal because, you know, she has to be in pushback range, which is point blank. Or, wow, Yoshi. Why didn't I not lethal? Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a weird hitbox, but... Um, so the result is that, like, there's only, like, a handful of moves where she can consistently block a minus 18 and get this, um, you know, 6 b lethal hit punish. Yeah. Uh, because her other 18 frames that has more range is just 6 k and that's not a lot of damage, and you're at frame disadvantage, technically. Um, but that's basically it about her uh, 18 frames. Um, okay. If it's minus 18, a lot of times I just do 3B. Even if it's minus 20, um, 3B. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's fair I enough. 3B, I do 3B. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. I mean, just looking through your, uh, your block punishes here... They, yeah, all of them up until I, like, 20 don't look that impressive, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's true. Um, like, as far as damage, yeah, um, tw it's 20 frames, uh, yeah, you're, you're pretty much right. Um, the one we're talking about is the, um, minus 22. Mm -hmm. So this part is important if you're kind of playing the data game for Taki. Um, at minus 22, and this is probably a good time to just, like, bust out the new character, Sitsuka. Ooh. Um, <laughs> be up on Setsuka. So at minus 22, uh, what gets online is her ability to sidestep A6 lethal as a whip pun or as a block punish. Mm -hmm. um, it would not work if they're recovering tech crouching or recovering crouching. Uh, but if they're not, um, it's like Umbrella, that is minus 22. Great. This works. It is, yeah. Um, I just had to execute. Why did I press the start button there? Oh, dude. <laughs> Why did you just do Umbrella on me? Oh my god. Okay, so that's an issue. I just do the bread and butter. Dude, why did you smash Umbrella at me? Yeah, Umbrella, um, and to be honest, Umbrella is a super sick move. I-14, tech crouches, um, heavy knockdown, ring out, potential wall splat as well. I mean, not only you can yep. get a full combo from it. But it's minus 22. Yeah, and take this uh, 70 plus damage for just doing raw umbrella. Throw or, it like, out in neutral, yeah, exactly. Yep, so that's the only thing I want to talk about, uh, minus 22. Um, this is online and requires some practice, but like, damage is worth it. 
Otherwise, worst case, just do 3B, you know, your favorite move in the universe. <laughs> Every, everyone's favorite move. But, like, this is relevant damage. Um, and I'll apply it to a lot of minus 22s that uh, recover standing, uh, including as well Exlo, actually. Um, that is super tight, though. Um, I just do RCC 3B against uh, as well Axlo. Mm hmm um because it's minus 22 so like you had it's basically frame perfect um you have to sidestep a6 and just like hope you execute um mm -hmm. but yeah that's just that's minus 22 and okay. it's definitely worth talking about just because like it just expands her block punishment so well and you know continues my uh statement that like she has the best block punishment in the game even though it kind of falls off after 16. i mean just imagine everybody having an amazing block punish at every frame up until like every, minus 24 that would be ridiculous like literally every frame um uh yeah like uh 14 like yeah she doesn't have so pts dab uh, you know she doesn't have like sure blade but like just like just normal punishes yeah um, like yeah. pretty general, good general punishes. Like, at every like i frame absolutely damn uh and like easy to execute aside from like rcc stuff and a6 but uh, yeah, we somehow made it through the 22s and uh, the Wild Rising Punishes. <laughs> and that leads us nicely into our next section, which is combos, tech traps, and frame traps. So instead of the more defensive side of stuff, this is the wholly, off, uh, off, oh, bleh, wholly offensive side of things. Mr. Omega, give us the okay. deets. All right, so uh, we're talking about combos. Combos, tech traps, frame traps, all the the good damage stuff. Okay, so uh, luckily I kind of covered uh, a lot of the combos, but probably worth uh, mentioning just really quick. Um, I think I started out with uh, the A six sixty B route, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so A6 um, slash six six B lethal hits. So just yeah. uh, so I keep saying that like you you definitely want to go for like your like A six lethals. Um, and 6-6-B, as long as they don't have, like, a long range, like, uh, like, 12 frame, they can punish this with, um, so I just want to mention that real quick, because their combo routes are, like, really similar. Um, with that said, if you just want pure damage, uh, that is A6 into 3-K-K, uh, Gunpowder Plot. Uh, sorry, Gunpowder Plot is, um, 3-K-K into 6-B plus K hold. Mm -hmm. Um, and we just call this Gunpowder for short, just because it's in the move list. Yeah. Uh, so once again, if I can execute 3kk into Gunpowder, um, Poison Dart into 1a. I did it too slow there. Uh, tech. Okay. So that's um, 70 plus damage. Um, that was a little extra because if they try to tech, then this does more damage. But if they don't tech, um, it'll do less damage, but it's still her most damaging combo technically. Is 1A a tech trap there, or can they tech and crouch block in time? Uh, it is a tech trap uh, for two extra damage. Um, so basically, you just got to hold that. Um, and you shouldn't tech here unless you're, like, I don't know, looking out for that. Uh, actually, no, that was a force block, but... <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's a bread and butter, just, like, 3kk. This is for damage, you know, you want to just, like, end the round. Um, 3kk is, like, pretty reliable... Uh, except for, you know, moments that I can get to later when we talk about buffs and <laughs> issues. Yeah. Um, so... And the, the carry is pretty good. So the other route is that, like, I actually don't prefer, um, doing the poison dart. Because, like, that is full crouch A plus B. And, like, it feels really bad to miss the timing on that. So, like, I actually prefer this route. Just do 1B into possession mix-up. Okay. And that kind of goes along with, like, um, you know, the, the so, section where we want to talk about tech traps. Go ahead. But is it just more... I mean, what what do you get advantage-wise from the two? Ooh. So this is similar to uh, what we talked about. Um, this lets me... So for investing, like, one or two damage, um, you get a pretty good mix-up. So if they tech, uh, they got to hold this possession B. Right, okay. Oh. And, like, that's... 10 chip damage anyway, so like... That is, that's ridiculous. Yeah, plus 4, all the good stuff that we talked about. If they stay on the ground, um... What was it? 8-way... Oh, down position. If they stay on the ground... Ugh. Okay, I messed it up a little bit, but yeah, that's, um, that'll, that'll catch rolls. Uh, 
Uh, okay, right. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, That's not what you're Yep. Or just like just stay in the position and you know cancel it, go for throws. Um, it's a good situation. Um, but if you guess wrong, then like it can kind of give like an advantage to the opponent, like trying to make a comeback. But like, okay. Uh, this allows you to just like maintain pressure. So that. <laughs> So not only is it pretty good damage, but it has roots to do a lot of stuff. Absolutely. And like this ties into like, you know, what we talked about with the, you know, different styles of play benefiting Taki. Um, if you just want pure damage or you just kind of want to like, you know, always keep your turn, then like it's a lot of pressure. Um, mm, yeah. And if, you know, if the opponent is like mashing, then like she can really like mess you up for it. You know, it's like, oh, you want to mash here? Like hold this possession B. <laughs> <laughs> You know, wow. man? Okay. Um, I mean, that is, I mean, the, the basic crazy, the basic combo is pretty crazy, but yeah, with all of those options, insanity. Yeah, absolutely. All right, what about um, uh, 66B? 66B, uh, so similar, similar routes, um, just about in every way. Okay. Um, I mean, if they're similar, then yeah. don't need to go over yeah. everything, but if there are differences, then 100% go through them. Um, I, there's like one difference, um, that involves her soul tech, which I can go into, uh, later. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a sure. few more routes. Um, so that's just damage. Uh, let's say I want this, uh, ring out carry. Um, what can I do here? So you can do 4BA possession rush cancel. Like, that's pretty uh, good carry. Yeah, I've seen that a like, lot. <laughs> but, dude, look at that, um, so that A6 hit right there, if I'm close enough, this will actually, like, ring out. Yeah, lock out, uh, I've seen that happen control. a bunch of times, too. Um, and if you're, like, close enough to the edge, you know, obviously you can do, um, just, like, you know, 3B or just, like, kick him out with 3KK. Um, so my preferred route, um, I keep saying that a lot, but whatever. Uh, oh, I fine. actually like doing 4BA, possession rush cancel, into that. Okay. Basically the same situation as the, um... You know what we talked about with the possession Oki. Sure. Can um, you do that combo yeah. with six six B lethal hit? Uh, yes, you can. Ah, okay. Um, so again, similar routes. I prefer this one because, like, okay, that's me messing up the uh, the A six. <laughs> I prefer this route because, um, the Oki situation is just like slightly better because you see that the opponent is closer to my feet. Yeah. Um, which um makes things like a little easier especially with like possession 6k which uh, i kept uh kind of whipping before so here we go nope not that one one more time this is why uh boom hates the combo section huh <laughs> <laughs> no he hates the combo section because he can't do a combo that's why well i swear i can do these combos just that, a little laggy <laughs> the clip is still in the uh clip is still in the clip section on twitch if you still want to find it it's hilarious please go and check it out yeah, check out Boom. It's a, it's wonderful. Um, but yeah, you get the same kind of possession mix-up. Um, and this has the added uh, benefit of giving you one talismans. Um, which, uh, if you don't know, um, landing on block or on hit four of these will power up your uh, possession low. Um, I don't prefer going this route a lot, but like, you know, it's it's worth mentioning. So, do. Yeah. Uh, okay, if I was close enough, that would combo, but... So, if you kind of want to do a, like, talisman route, like, this essentially gives you a free talisman, and you get the same damage as the first routes, and you get the same O key, and you get similar damage. Like, okay. that is a fine route to go to. Hmm. Um, and that's the same thing for, uh, 6 b Uh, last route, and we can move on, yeah, is, perfect. uh, let's see... Uh, just go with all 3B. This is really simple, except for the X, uh, the 6, oh, sorry, the A6. Um, just very short combo, but, like, similar situation once again. You know, hold this possession B, hold this possession 6K. Um, and, yeah. And so, you notice that she, uh, Seska is doing, like, this tailspin thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's cool is that, you know, that lets you do soul attack. And you're in soul charge now, and you're nice and close to your opponent. And you're in possession. Uh, and you're in possession. So, like, you can already feel, like, the pressure in your heart now, right? I can feel um, it from miles away. Like, I love doing soul attack in these situations because, like, 
you know, first of all, like, this lets me go into Soul Charge and be nice and close to my opponent. What feels bad is if you're Taki and you do raw Soul Charge, you're pushing your opponent, like, a mile away and you have to get back in again. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I love play. every opportunity I can do Soul Tech in a combo. Uh, actually, I don't know if this... Okay, this does work. And I'm in possession, I'm nice and close, and I still get, like, good damage. It's a really good mix-up as well. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're it... rushing at them in possession, you've got, you know, it's basically the possession A, possession B, the new possession low. You've got a bunch of different stuff, like 2A, 2B, all that kind of stuff. So, nothing to be sniffed at if you can get solid attack in a combo. Yeah, absolutely good pressure, and, like, you know, you don't have to commit to possession. You can just, like, cancel the possession and, like, go into Ninja Cannon. You're making me hate this character more than I already do. Oh, dude, like, she's she like so. Next time you see your, you know, Taki's bad, you're gonna you're gonna help defend me, right? Or you're gonna help defend this character? <laughs> uh, well, to be, I've never said this character's bad. I've always said this character's good. Okay, 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 okay. But if you ever see it, like, uh, I don't know, like on uh, on Twitter, Twitter, I'll be like, Twitter. I mean, I won't say anything. I'll just link them this. Oh, I'll, I'll link yeah. them this link in a. Well, it will be put on YouTube afterwards. Um, but yeah, I'll link them to the vod. Sure, sure, sure. Um, and one more uh, combo route because this kind of goes into um, a section of like chip damage and uh, soul attack. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, uh, check out this uh, soul attack. This is 24 damage on block. <laughs> if chip damage <laughs> could kill, Taki would win every single game. <laughs> every time, dude. Um, it's it's really linear, so like um, I don't prefer doing it in neutral, but a lot of Taki players do. Um, Nice middle ground in a combo, so, uh, let's see. Um, oh, okay, you're gonna laugh. Am I gonna mm. laugh or cry? Uh, a little both. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, 59 damage, but this is unscaled. Oh, wait, no, wrong route, wrong, wrong one. Okay, here we go. What? Excuse <laughs> so, me? So, so you just did, uh, let's see. 62 damage, right? And then 24 unscaled block damage on top of that. She was not uh, guarding there for some reason. Wow. Try it again. Okay, 62 damage, and then 24 for a grand total mm -hmm. of uh, 86. Why? Why? Why, Okubo? Why? <laughs> and you know, you're in skill charge, you're kind of close in your possession. All right, everybody um, go and tag Maso on Twitter. You know how he loves that. Um, so, like, awesome. Um, and th this is using a 3A, uh, in case yeah. anyone doesn't know. Um, so, I messed up the first time because you actually, oh, this isn't going to whiff. Um, you actually have to, what am I supposed to do? Oh, 3A here. Okay, if I wasn't being clear, don't fucking tag Maswa or Okubo for balanced stuff anymore, please. Use the specific hashtag or go fill out the feedback form. Jesus. Yeah, absolutely use the hashtag. Like, I, I, I love those guys so much. Like, they're so nice to talk to in person. Um, so... As far as combo routes, like, that's pretty much the only difference between A6 and 6B is, like, how they treat, um, you know, the soul attack. Um, there's a lot of times where this will whiff on hit, it's not gonna land. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but you can play around that. Uh, let me remember really quick what I'm supposed to do. Uh, okay. This is gonna work. Is it, though? Damn it, it's not gonna work. Uh, I forgot <laughs> what to do there. I'm having a brain fart. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, no, okay, okay, okay. Bing, 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 bing. Similar, um... Do, 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 do. okay. Uh, so that's another route, so instead of, um... So instead of doing... This for the block damage, right? Mm -hmm. Um, this is technically zero. Um, but you're still kind of close. Um, but here's another setup that I kind of like. Ooh, uh, okay. That's, uh... That's what frame of advantage are you at there? Uh, plus four. Plus four, okay. Um, but here's the thing. Alright, 69 damage. <laughs> it's unblockable. Sorry. 69 damage. <laughs> okay. 17 chip damage. My... The plus four. Yeah, this character is in is incredible. Um, this requires a little bit of execution, because, like, you have to possession rush cancel here. I'm gonna put cancel into CE, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm How hard does up. it scale? I mean, if you can get it, see, obviously. Um, so, like, so this gives you, like, 
so if you reach like 69, 70 damage, that's already optimal. Mm -hmm. Everything on top of that is like gravy. Um, and especially cool because, you know, chip damage on block, they never scale no matter what. So like, you're, it's practice practically like, you know, a true combo mm -hmm. um, into a force block situation. Uh, so that is the situation I should probably do more of actually. Um, because like, I really like that, you know, they had to hold this chip damage and it's plus four, it's force crouch. Um, it's just a powered up version of position B that I already like so much, but they add a break attack on top of that, so you can't even GI it. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Why, why would you want to? Exactly. I mean, that, okay. So, yeah, that, that is yeah. pretty insane, yeah. Uh, so, and it's a 16 frame punisher you can do from full crouch, so, you know, you just let it rip and then do your thing. Um, so, I know that was a combo section, um, but, you know, this ties into, like, chip damage, uh, soul attack and stuff, so it's kind of... You know, two birds, one stone kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's totally fine, dude. I'm happy for you to uh, go off on tangents, like I said. Um, so, okay, that was... Okay, so you went into 3kk, right? Uh, yeah, at 3kk, yeah, 3KK um, I went into the 4ba route, um, mm -hmm. and I went to... Total attack enders. Uh, and, um, okay. and those two, uh, two or three comms are worth doing just because, like, um... Because that kind of extends to just like the smaller combos. Like if you just ran a 3B, like you already know like this combos, and you still get like possession mix up. Yeah. Uh, same thing with like that. You can do 4B A route into the 6 B combo, and then they gotta hold that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then like if you really want to be safe, you know you can get the knockdown into force block. Uh, sorry, force block ninja cannon. Uh, so Arctic yeah. Komodo has a question. Which does more damage, 4BA4 uh, POC3A or 1KK? Oh, 1KK. Um, so, oh, 3A. Uh, you know what? Um, yeah. Hang on. Uh, I had a reason why I didn't want to do 1KK. <laughs> uh, Live experimentation. Let's see. How much damage was that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, huh, that might actually be less damage. Unless I'm not doing it wrong. 62. 62, 61, so technically 3A. Um, but maybe 1KK has more range. Does it give you better uh, frames, though? Or is it same frame advantage? Let's see, good question. Uh, I, they might be able to step that, but... I don't know what uh, gives more, unless uh, we want to, like, just no right now. Why not? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, don't you? I think you, I saw you have scuffle open, so yeah, why the hell not? Do it. Okay, can you step this? No, it's fourth block. Um, is it the same thing with 1kk? I'm assuming yes. Uh, so that's plus 10 in terms of. They're both plus 10, so oh, I think okay. they're just equally good. Yeah. Um, one does one more damage. Good. Yeah, you, you get one more damage. You want to be like super optimal. Um, maybe 1kk has more range, but like. Perhaps one has more it. carry as well. Doesn't look like it though. Uh, more carry, interesting. Uh, you know she does take a big step forward, so I I'm willing to believe the more carry. Yeah. Yeah, it does have more Ooh. carry. I mean, if you if you want that extra, extra what step or two, then sure, take the one KK for the one less damage. Oh yeah, and the one thing like um we have emphasized was just like, <laughs> you know. If they want to mash at plus 10 for some reason, then like they just eat this whole thing. <laughs> mm. So Arctic Komodo is asking me if I want to figure out how to lower resolution. It's not a streamer problem, it's a Twitch problem. So very quickly, if people don't know how uh, Twitch resolution works, basically Twitch only has a certain amount of bandwidth and resources to give to streamers. Um, it depends how many people are streaming at the time. If there are a lot of partners who are streaming, then they will get quality options first. Uh, and then if there's any spare, essentially, it will go to affiliates. And then if there's any more spare, it will go to people who aren't affiliated or partnered at all. So sometimes I will have quality options. Sometimes I won't. Uh, it's only due to how many people are streaming on Twitch at the time when I start streaming. Um, so, yeah, I currently have it set to 720p60. So nobody should have a problem unless your Internet is terrible. Uh, but yeah. Quality options are wholly down to Twitch giving me the bandwidth to uh, reduce resolutions. So there you go. Uh, it, it wouldn't help if I uh, change the stage or anything, right? Uh, 
No, no, no. It's it, it's it's a hundred percent on Twitch's end and how much bandwidth they assign to each streamer. Um, just want to do like uh one, maybe two more combos before we move on. Uh, just kind of like her just uh bread and butter like wall combo. Yeah, go for um, it. So a six lethal and six B are basically the same, right? So no mm -hmm. matter what, um, this would be you know the route that you go. Uh, six B is just easier to you know apply right now. So it's three KK. Uh, oh god, I messed it up. Okay. Wow, bad execution. <laughs> I swear I don't execute this bad. Okay, this might whiff. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay. There it is. That's not. Wait, you can reset it? Uh. Um, well, it, it's not. Te te what? Please do that again. <laughs> I, I need to see that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there's a second wall splat. See, here I would expect a reset after the full crouch. Uh, was it 1kk? So, um, so the reset works is that if the combo detects, uh, two, uh, four BAs, mm -hmm. uh, that's when you get the reset. Oh. Um, but if you don't implement a four BA early in the combo, uh, so I guess I can just go into reset right now. Um, but yeah, so that's what happens when you just do your first four BA. They just do that little, like, um, that crumple stun thing. Oh. Um, but like, if you just want damage and like, you don't want, uh, give your, uh, you know, opponent an opportunity to guess. <laughs> oh, it's going to scale. I messed it up, but yeah, so that's kind of what happens. You just get cool 100 damage. Oh, you keep in the <laughs> cool 100 damage, NBD. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is what you're talking about right here. Into uh, yeah. mix up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mix up. The, yeah, yeah. Okay, wow, that that's pretty decent damage then without the reset. Yep, and um, and it's really relevant because like sometimes like you'll be like over here and you just kind of want to do the 4BA to carry. Um, and that should be, that should go in the mindset of, like, a Taki player, like, um, like, the different combo routes, like, if you need, like, a carry, um, 4BA option is, like, you know, pretty much your go-to. Sure. Uh, is that gonna lethal hit? Okay. Bad. So, assume that, you know, they're far away. It's like, okay, 3kk has pretty good range. Into back there mix-up, which, uh, that whipped for some reason. <laughs> uh, but even in the middle times, you... Oh god, okay. Deep breath, execute. Alright. <laughs> oh, and then that's a that's a ring out thing. That's a ring out, yeah. Yeah, uh, you can do BK to kind of get your, like, side, um, like, side ring out. Like, say, like, the ring out is just, like, um, you know, to the left of us. Yeah. Um, you can do combo into, like, I uh, hope this doesn't whiff. That will be embarrassing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, how about this? It's better at a different angle. Okay, yeah. So, that'll allow you to get, like, wall splats at like uh weird angles um as well as like ring outs at weird angles um another solution is uh arctic commodus thing which is like a uh, 6aa oh sorry um possession 6a which will also splat but uh similar to boom i'm not definitely i'm not like the combo guy but like i just know like <laughs> possibility so yeah of course so that works i, I swear that works i don't know why <laughs> um but if you think uh you can duck the uh, the back throw mix up um, but the mix-up will be the Possession 2BA. Oh my god, why am I having so many issues today? Okay, here we go. That's fine. And that's gonna be... Oh. Now, supposed to wall splat, but these walls suck. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that, that would, uh, re-splat. Uh, if these walls are not made of butter. And that will go into, uh, 6BB. So, oh, you wanna duck the throw. Um, huh, there's probably a situation that doesn't resplat, but if it does resplat, um, then you extend your combo, basically. So, at the end of the day, your mix-up is the back throw or, uh, possession 2B. Gotcha, okay. And that's on, that's on the reset? Uh, yeah, that's all the reset version. Yeah, yeah, that's um, all the reset version, okay. Yep, so, you can go just pure damage option or go for reset option. Um, depending on, like, what my opponent likes to do, uh, I just mix it up. Always good to mix it up. Yep. So that's about it for wall combos. Uh, there's a lot of like neat things about like wall combos, um, but whoever's asking, uh, I can send them a link to the Taki Bible <laughs> and call it a day. Sure. Yeah, I mean that's that's pretty easy. I mean, if you want to send it over to me, I can put it in the uh, in the link for the TTT today, like for the oh, sure. uh, Pokemon. Um, so send it over. If, uh... oh, okay, I can send it to you directly or. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Just All post right. a, post a Discord link to me in DMs or something, and I'll put it in the um, in the TTT bot command. Uh, so, okay, it looks like we are done for your combo section, and now we have a couple of those ch pesky uh, frame traps and tech traps to go through. Um, 
so this will i would say this will be kind of like a shorter section mm -hmm. because like um uh tech traps that I, like you know i'm most comfortable with is what you saw before which is like uh you know the possession b possession 6k thing sure um so i can show one neat mechanic um it's something called inheritable stun uh let's see let's see if i can get the work so i guess i'll just demonstrate the combo right away yeah sure so b tech oh i didn't t turn on tech okay here we go uh right cool All right, that makes no sense. <laughs> hmm. Wait, all right, let me land this. Okay, um, at, <laughs> oh gosh. at a different angle, uh, that would lethal hit again. <laughs> so let me try this again. Really? Yeah. Um, it's heavy scaling, but like. But it's still like another. Right. It's still an extension of the combo, right? Yep. Deep breath. Execute. Okay. Do. Okay, so assume that would um lethal hit, but mm -hmm. yeah. Uh and then let me try one more time actually. Pride is on the line. <laughs> <laughs> uh so this doesn't make sense because like so this on counter hit, usually like that's the end of the combo. Um but 22B has a weird property that like we call it inheritable stun because like this full crash BK kind of like inherits the stun from uh 22b i think that was the uh the explanation yeah um well with without like, well, full crouch on kk if you just hit with the second kick leads to the stun right oh uh, sorry what was the question full crouch or is it full crouch 3kk or full crouch 1kk oh uh, yeah full crouch 3kk like this doesn't give like you know this kind of stun right yeah exactly but on the on the second hit if you whiff the first it gives the stun before Crash 3 KK, right? Uh, actually, yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, that that's what it seems like is that it it, it, it doesn't count full crouch 1K technically yeah. as a move, I guess. So it just counts full crouch 1KK and takes the stun from the second hit for some yeah. reason. For I, some I don't reason, really yeah. have an explanation why, but it does. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a uh, as interesting as it goes when it comes to like uh, tech traps. Mm -hmm. um, she has a few micro ones. Um, I just want this lethal hit to just land once. But I had to do two A6s in a row. Oh god! Okay, that's supposed to lethal hit. <laughs> yeah, it's um, fine. The, the scaling is like, so high. Um, but she has some, uh, and she has like some minor ones, like uh, like you know A6 and a tech. You can do another A6. Mm -hmm. Uh, in case you need more A6s in your life. Um, <laughs> if it's tech, case, yeah. yeah, you can do 1kk. Um, what about Arctic Komodo? Okay, I can show you the Arctic Komodo. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, you... Wait, is that gonna work? No, that's not, that's, wait. Uh, sure, yeah. Um, <laughs> shout out to Arctic Komodo. Um, so that is a tech trap. Um, if you get a knockdown and you, uh, spam 8 CE, that will actually catch text. Um, but it should be, like, you know, apparent that, like, it's so high risk, high reward. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks a lot, like, very, very risky. Yeah, um, more like, uh, high risk, uh, minimal reward, but, um, I managed to pull it off one time and I was pretty happy, but I can just <laughs> easily just go for a possession B. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, so that's all the tech, oh, um, and another minor tech trap is, uh, that's a tech trap. Oh, that me. looks That's nasty. Sexy. Yeah. Um, it's um, I don't prefer it because um, it's vulnerable to teching the one side, and like you know, have, uh, yeah. So this so is this vulnerable is to teching side. left. Uh, yeah. So they're currently teching to my right. So they tech left. Um, then they can avoid it. Oh, okay. Um, so there's like, so she has tech traps that like. Are a lot like that, where it's like you can tech it to one side, or you can uh, back tech and it'll avoid everything. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't tend to explore those like too much, but they do exist. Then again, they're kind of outlined in, in the Taki doc. Um, but this is just kind of like a little flavor of like you know some of her tech traps. Um, nothing like a billion damage. Like besides you know what we talked about with the inheritable stun. Uh, a billion, with two two B. A billion damage. <laughs> um, and like. 
if you're talking about tech, like, you know, I'd say just take your possession B, take your possession 6A, mm -hmm. or um, just run up to your opponent's body and, like, do A plus B. Like, <laughs> that's kind of like a tech trap. Just get, take your plus 2. That's always a good idea, yeah. Yeah, or just take your throw mix up. And uh, that's about it for tech traps. Wow. I think. Uh, yeah, there wasn't many in the tech traps and frame trap section, so it's good that you went over them very succinctly as well. Uh, and it's about as many frame traps as well, so let's uh, let's blaze through that one before we get into our final two more contentious sections. Oh god, yep. <laughs> uh, so uh, frame traps first, right? Uh, frame traps will be quick. Yeah. All right. Um, so frame traps, uh, I just kind of interpret it as just like on block stuff. Uh, so I can just go through them real quickly. Um, we already talked about win roll A. Uh, that's zero, and the fact that you have eight frame, uh, makes it like you know, should make your uh, opponent think twice about like trying to challenge this. Mm -hmm. uh, and chip damage is significant. That's ten, ten, uh, ten chip damage, and something like Meki that just adds another three. Okay. Uh, uh, so A plus B, um, you know I love this move. Like new Taki players just like spam this. It's plus mm -hmm. two. Um, if they interrupt with anything, you can just like. You know, get counter hit uh, BB, or sorry, counter hit while rising BB, or counter hit 4BA. Um, or you just bait them by backstepping. Um, or just keep doing it and just wait for their guard to break. <laughs> <laughs> that, that seems to be the best option. Spam A plus B and just wait for them to get to 99%. Oh, yeah. And then, like, you know, if you really want some damage, they're turtling. Like, oh, uh, we didn't talk about. Um... So. Yeah, so we talked about her guard break game, um, but you know that's not the only way for her to open up turtles. I um, mm. uh, really have to emphasize that like her throw game is actually ridiculous. Um, these are unteckable hard knockdowns, and they lead to mix up. <laughs> so like you know you can go low. Is that is that all of them, or just her six six a plus g? Um, all of them. Uh, don't remember about side throws, but uh, even Oof. just the regular throw, like that's unteckable. But, okay. you know, like, you, you might as well just do, um, you know, command grab at that point. So that's command grab. Uh, you can go low. Uh, you can go, yeah, jump again. You can go 3B. If they roll, they got to hold that. Or if they mash, they got to, you know, get launched. Damn, okay. Uh, Every time I my... play Taki, I never realized that it was that good on her grabs. Yep. And, like, I think she needs it because, like, it just it's going to feel bad if they get a throw and then they can just tech away and then you have to, like, work your way back in. But since these are unteckable hard knockdowns, like you can just keep the pressure going. Just um, you don't have to commit to like the 50-50 mid low. Like even effective is just like just run up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unteckable. And same thing with her uh, back throw. That's just a normal back throw. You know, run up mix up, unteckable <laughs> uh, hard mad. knockdown. Um, and the same thing with her uh, uh, possession throws. I prefer you know possession cancel into like the regular throws just because mm -hmm. they do more damage. Yeah. But like these come out quicker. If you're in possession, um, wow, okay. you do recover a little farther than the regular um, neutral throws, um, but it still stands that like there's they still can't tech, and then like you know you have time to run up. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so to punish turtles, you got guard break, you got frame advantage on block, and you have um, throws. Uh, so I just wanted to like tie the loop on there, where like his throw game, sorry, Taki's throw game is really good. Um, you know, like I said before, like, you can just play, like, you know, sidestep, uh, I think he's turtling, throw, uh, I think he's gonna mash, A6 lethal. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that game plan seems pretty solid. What's her throw range? Uh, weak. <laughs> That's okay, the only so, thing. Yeah, so her throw range is weak, but if you're able to actually get the grabs, you put them in a mix-up, you able yep. to use it to stop turtles, and they're pretty good damage as well, so, okay. There's the upside yep. and the downside. Short range, but incredible, uh, incredible game afterwards. Yep, and then, like, if, yeah, if you just get them to turtle in, like, this is just a scary situation for an opponent to be in. Because um, cause if they're holding block right now, like, they can still just, like, stay in this position uh, right here, unless, like, they realign themselves. Yeah. And that sucks up for A6. Um, and if you want to play, like, a safe bake, um, a safe play style, then you can just, like, uh, let's check them with BB, see what happens, you know? Um, so, yeah, just want to close the, on that, um, on the throw game uh, as we're going through the frame traps. Um... Because I just did A plus B, and, you know, A plus B into throw is a pretty decent mix-up. A plus B on block? Uh, um, it, yeah, or on hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, quick combo. Didn't really go through A plus B combos. Yeah, just sure. you know, normal tailspin combo. 
Um, and sorry, also didn't emphasize that like she's probably one of the best characters for blowing up defensive options, um, which I've you've probably seen a million times in like tournaments and stuff. Um, but just really feel the impact. Of oh this. yeah, oh like, yeah, it's ridiculously strong. So like you know if you're on like the Soul Calibur Facebook group and just like oh you know GI and Reversal Edge is like cheap like. Play Taki, and <laughs> all your dreams will come true. Like, just blow up every defensive mechanic. All, every defensive mechanic, and like, um, and this is the fastest break attack in the game, like A plus B. So like, yeah. a lot of break attacks, like they're kind of risky because they're like linear or slow. But like, you know, this is 30 frames, which is the fastest break attack in the game, and like, you can cancel with Mechie if like they're trying to be cute and like try to jump over or something. Like, you want to jump, you know, take this Mechie. Or you want to sidestep, take this mechie. Or you want to take this mechie, take this mechie. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> In every situation, besides blocking, they'll have to take that mechie. Yep. Damn. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, a plus B blows up defensive options. Um, and they block. Uh, you know, have fun just working on their guard gauge. Uh, plus two. Um, and we'll speed it up a little bit. Other things are plus two. Uh, four AK, which got a recent buff. Uh, that's plus two. Um, was it plus zero before? It was, um, what was the change? Uh, it was something with the jail, so this okay. used to not jail. Oh, so now it jails. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, more accurately, um, they, so, so you see the, so it's a slash and kicks, right? Mm -hmm. They changed it up a little bit, so now, like, if you block this, you can sidestep. Um, but now it, like, if they just stand there and block, then they have to hold this, this, this is a uh, jailing in terms of uh, standing or crouching, um, but they changed it up where like they can step it now. Uh, and, okay. Yeah, and I apologize if I got it incorrect, but I think that's how it works. But at the end of the day, this is plus two. It's uh, decent, and then you can mix it up by going to possession if you want to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fair. Oh, yeah. All right then. I don't think that's a really big change, but it's a a good change, I guess. Yep. Um, also. Um, we we'll probably spend some time on this. Uh, we can talk about this a little bit. Yeah, I mean, just talk about 66 A plus B before we go into the next two sections, because this move is still one of the most annoying that Taki has. Oh, absolutely. Um, because like, there's there's a lot of like close range, like you know, speedy characters in uh, Soul Calibur Six. So like, I feel like just like if any of them gets this move, like they're you know they're already better just because like this is such a great approach tool. Um, and then you know, as long as you touch your opponent, like it's it's a mix up, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. Worst case, it's like, you know, chip damage and small frame disadvantage on block. Or you just like charge it up and you get plus two with uh, 10 chip damage. Um, so but does she no this... longer have like partial holds as well? Uh, she can still partial hold. Okay, right. Uh, so so that's, that helps, um, you know, a little bit of, you know, of bait if like they're trying to interrupt with like a 2A or something. Yeah. Um, and obviously the counterplay is that like... It's it's steppable. So like the whole purpose of this move is like you're catching backstep or you're just trying to approach. Um, the Taki player just has to understand that like it's steppable. So like you'd have to mix it up with like uh, I don't know like six uh, AA to like catch side steps, six A to catch side steps, or even just run up A six if they're trying to peek cute and like you know play around six A plus B. And then when you get them to stop moving, then you know you can have fun with that. You know it's plus two, plus two, plus four throw. You know, whatever you want. So what's the counterplay to 6-6-A plus B? Uh, again, it's, um, it's sidestep. Um, or... So, yeah, sidestep, but if you have to, like, you know, if you get touched. Uh, so the counterplay is, you know, you have to GI that. Mm -hmm. um, that's a that's a nerf in this patch. Like, this used to be un-GI-able. Uh, now there's enough time to GI this fast, uh, normally uninterruptible string. Right, um, okay, so you can GI the slash now, the Hori slash. Yeah, you can GI the slash now. Um, luckily, auto GIs uh, don't work. Thank God. <laughs> they don't um, really. Yeah, uh, or at least uh, Shanghua um, auto GI when I tested it. Ah, um, okay. But obviously, like you know, if they GI, then you know you blow that shit up with uh, the break attack. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, you know, but, it's still a mix up, like you're saying. Yep. Exactly. That's the mix up. Um, but if the opponent reads the break attack. Um, there's a big gap between, you know, the first touch and the break attack. Um, pre-patch, it used to be small, but they actually made this window bigger. Uh, so I believe, 
like 16 frames uh, work now, uh, which is CE range, uh, which is very sad for me. For some <laughs> people, for some people, it's CE range. Well, for most, I guess. Yeah. Most yeah, 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 yeah. Most 16, yeah, 16 frame uh, CEs, but obviously, like you know, they risk uh, you know having their me meter eaten. Um, yeah, exactly. If the best option. So it's still a good mix-up. Um, it's definitely a worse version than pre-patch, but it's still very good and it's like a vital tool in any Taki player's moveset. Mm -hmm. Right, before we move on to our final two sections, is there anything else that you want to go over outside of them? Like anything uh, else that you've maybe neglected to talk about or that you want to reiterate, for example? Um, let's see, we already did that with a throw. Uh, I guess really quick, um... See, is A6 a tutorial worth uh, talking about? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, I'll make it quick. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you're getting single A, that means you're doing it too late. If you're getting this, you're doing it too early. And by it, I mean the timing of your six. Um, so, like, if you're just doing lab, like, that's kind of like your scale. Like, okay, too late, too early. Um, just a little earlier than the AA. Uh, I like to do A6A. Um, which I recommend a lot of Taki players to do, because, like, if you mess up, the worst you get is AA, and I think that's fine. Um, but obviously you're going for A6, so I don't know if the microphone picks it up, but, like, I do A6A. I just do it rhythmically. And yeah, if I mess up, it's kind of here in the background, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not bad advice, actually. Yeah. Um, you don't want, like, single A. That means, uh, you're definitely doing too late. And this is actually rare, like... This should, like, almost never happen, um, just getting the early A6. So it's all about the timing of when you do the A and, like, how late or how early you do the 6. Um, I've had uh, someone say, like, you know, is it still worth playing Taki if, you know, you don't have the A6 execution? Uh, I'd say yes, but, like, it's, it's, it's almost fun. Like, she, like, glows <laughs> and stuff, so... Uh, and I mean, you get the yeah. knockdown from 10 frames like we talked about, but yeah, you can still play her if you don't have A6 execution, but it's definitely worth doing, and it just becomes second nature if you just, like, you know, go at it yeah. for a I while. Yeah, I it, it will become second nature, and obviously if, you, if you're if you unable to get A6, as the current tutorial has just shown, that's not the be-all and end-all of Taki. Like, there's yep. so many things that you can do to make this character work without specific A6, uh, A6 just frame punishes. That mm -hmm. even if you never use A6, you're probably still in with a good chance if you understand the character really well. Absolutely, yes, exactly. Because, like, there's so many minus 12s in the game, so, like, you know, this requires no executions. It's minus 12, just punish. All you have to do is just, like, you know, react and uh, memorize. Yeah. Um, and, you know, she can play basic style like we talked about before, just, like, get an opponent's face and just force uh, throw mix-ups or break attack or, you know, fast options. So, yeah. um, but if you want to go further than that, um, you know, just work on the A6. Um, if you want to start, I say do A6A. Um, everyone has their own way of doing A6, which is uh, really interesting with the Taki community. Um, people say that, like, you have to stare at her left foot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I don't quite get that. Um, but again, everyone has their own little thing. Um, uh, my little thing that kind of, like, makes more sense to me is, um, the moment this A lands, or, like, just is about to pass, you know, uh, the wound point, uh, that's when you do A6. Or, sorry, that's when you do the 6. So it's a combination of, like, visually confirming and just, like, just getting to the rhythm of it. Um, so that's all I had to say about A6. Yeah. Uh, it's her best move, so it's worth, like, oh, executing. I was gonna say, yeah, it's kind of like learning how to, you know, JFT and JFU with Setsuka uh, during combos and stuff. You gotta, you gotta get the execution down and understand when she hits a certain point to then do the rest of the action. Uh, so, yeah. Sweet. Right. Yeah. And, uh, ready to move on to the uh oh no uh is it past special rush okay this will be quick i i'm so sorry Danaray. Um, no no, no. <laughs> it's fine quick. if if there's more to talk about then please feel free to because as in-depth as you can make it is what people watch for oh yeah and that's uh that's just awesome uh god we've been at this for a while huh um so yeah, yeah so possession rush cancel um because this is like kind of a question uh and i could just like show them this in the future mm -hmm. um so like this is a new thing so her uh, half circle forward B, or like unblockable, um, you can do it in stance. Uh, and that's important. Oh, I mean, you're supposed to do it in stance. Okay. So <laughs> all it is is just like when you're stance, you just press G as soon as possible. Um, so the execution is like, okay, do your transition. Sorry, transition. Uh, and just cancel it as soon as possible. 
and that's what it looks like. Um, you can see so it, hopefully you can see it on the, yeah, you, you can see it on the bottom of the screen where he's he's mashing it basically. Yep. So like this is me doing it without G. And it's nice because when you transition to possession with the four direction, like that's already the first input of the uh, unblockable. So like mm -hmm. so you can just kind of hold four and then just like just swing your uh, thumb or your wrist or whatever into a half circle motion and just make it seamless. So you're doing the half circle B into block. And that's a cancel. Uh, and it as, uh, Easy. Yeah, and, <laughs> and that's like as close to um, you know exorcism cancel from Soul Calibur 2 as you can get. Um, but they also add an easy option where you do uh, possession KG, mm -hmm. uh, which is a slower cancel, but much 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 easier. And if you're just using it for combos, like this will not give you any disadvantages if you're in you know just doing it in a combo, uh, as demonstrated by this. <laughs> So if that's easier for you to start with, um, I recommend doing Possession KG as a cancel. But like for neutral, um, the unblockable like fire cancel thing, like it's actually so much stronger. Just because um, you go into neutral faster, and that's about it. Okay. Right. Now we're going to move on to our final two sections. So these final two sections are, as I have said many times, the most contentious and the last section will be based solely on personal opinion the section we're about to move on to now which is uh matchups is informed by a current person's uh personal opinions but will also be explored by the entire community so, so most of this will be opinion based do not hate omega for it because everybody has opinions if you disagree then feel free to talk to him on Discord about it or have a civil conversation on Twitter or whatever. But these are personal opinions of the person that we have doing the tutorial right now. So Omega, without further ado, take it away. What do you think the matchups are for Taki? Okay, um, so we talked about this during the uh, like the weaknesses section, like mm -hmm. what gives Taki uh, a hard time. It just comes down to like if the opponent has like uh, the ability to space out Taki. And if they have a good backstep um, from small block disadvantages. Mm -hmm. um, so the first character I wanted to talk about was uh, Astroth. Um, he doesn't have good buttons, but like... Oh, sorry, he doesn't have a good backstep. But like, he has such good, like, long buttons. Um, it's hilarious because, like, a lot of Taki's approach tools are just going to get shut down by, like, um, 6B. a 6B. Yeah. Or um, even Command Throw. So, like... The funny thing is, like, sometimes I do, like, 6SK to get under the throw, but, like, it just translates into a command throw for Astroth. <laughs> so, like... <laughs> so, the thing with Astroth is, like, you have to approach intelligently. Um, if you're just going to spam 6A plus B or 6SK, um, you're just going to eat, like, 6B counter hit, or he's just going to air throw you. Um, the other thing... Oh, my God. That, is that the... Wow. Um, the other thing is that, like, Astroth makes it really awkward for you to, like, steal your turns, because, like... If you steal your turn, uh, like, poorly, or if you try to steal your turn in a poor way, um, he can just mess you up for it. Like, his counter hits, um, like, match yours in damage, if not bigger, just because, uh, his moves are generally slower. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's kind of what I hate, just, like, you know, he just, like, sticks out this, like, long axe and just, like, kind of, like, flusters me, and then, like, okay, I'm gonna go for the 6SK, and then he just does, like, you know, 6B. Just, like, just reset. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So... But, like, fortunately, uh, once you're in, uh, Taki wins. Um, the cool thing about this is that she has, uh, you know, gunpowder, which lethal hits uh, if she goes under uh, highs, and that includes throws. And I don't know if I can demonstrate that now, but... Yeah, there it is. There you go. So, that, so yeah, and that, that's a cool uh, 61 damage, I believe. Cool 61 damage, no problem. Yep. Yeah. But, like, you know, like I said, like... Okay. Eh, well. But, like, you know, that's a that's a safe mid. Like, yeah. he, he, he has answers to your approach. Um, but luckily, his ability, his, like, kind of, like, his mid, like, tracking launchers are, like, rather slow. So, like, you can just, like, you know, step guard him all day. Um, and obviously, he's kind of slow. Uh, so the only advice for Taki players is just, like, when you're in, like, mash, but, like, just be aware of his counter hit ability. Like, if you're trying to steal your turn from too big of a frame gap, uh, he can definitely mess you up with, like, a counter hit, like, 6B, for example. 
yeah. and that is like just like a lot of damage or a counter hit like 6k um but his back step is really weak so like it's not that hard to chase him you just gotta get around his zoning okay so that was uh all oh, right i can see that you've got a, a little did you know section <laughs> regarding astaroth oh uh what did i say here uh do, 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 this is actually a really good point. Yeah. Oh, uh, flex your chest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, this uh, uh, what was it? Was it Asics? Uh, yeah. So like, remember that Asics playstyle that I said about Taki? Yep. Uh, flex your chest says no. <laughs> like he absorbs that. Uh, and gets a lot of damage from it. I forgot the combo and I forgot if it lethal hits, but like, this makes it really annoying if I'm like looking for my Asics. Like this gets absorbed. Luckily, it's minus twelve and block. Um, but, like, that's just kind of, like, one of, like, the details. Like, I hate Flexo Chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, um, uh... but that can be baited, you know, you can A plus B it or whatever. Um. Yeah, Flexo Chest is a move that I also hate with a passion, so ditto, friend. Uh, but another thing is, like, if he's coming at you with, uh, let me just record this real quick. Mm -hmm. If he's coming at you with, like, um, you know, the typical I'm approaching you, uh, with command throw thing. Uh, you can technically 4B, uh, how do you do it? Remind me how to do it? Oh, there it is. Right, yeah. So, that goes through armor. Um, you have to be on point with your reactions. But, like, there's no reason to guess against this. Like, just interrupt with, uh, A6 or 4BA. Uh, unless you're really slow like me, in which case, uh, you know, have fun with the 50-50. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So something to also note is that um, when people have armor, if you hit them while in armor, they actually take a couple of frames longer to finish the move. Which is why if Astaroth was to just, like, if armor completely ignored that, Kwong, oh, sorry, uh, anybody really would be, uh, would be grabbed. But because yeah. it gives you a bigger window, Characters that have got really good two-hit strings, like 4BA, completely destroy armor. So if you're fighting an Astaroth that likes to use a lot of armor, find your best two-hit string and absolutely destroy them. Yep. Um, so, like, you have to be sharp on here because, like, if you're too slow, then you're going to get thrown, which is, like, actually kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you have to be, like, make sure, like, reaction's, like, on point. Um, yeah. And online, like... This is like a mixed bag for me. Like sometimes I get it and I feel awesome, but other times I get, you know, I'm too slow and I just get thrown. It feels bad. Uh, oh, bad man, so indeed, yeah. I thought I thought that's worth uh, mentioning in the um, the matchup. Uh, oh, you talked about um, um, frame gaps. So uh, do I? I think I want to switch this up uh, and I take advantage of this beautiful new tool that Okubo bestowed on us. Uh, thank you to the god Okubo. God bless and Okubo and, and Masuyama. Um, so with command throws, like, uh, IV, you know, CS in particular, and, uh, even Astroth, um, these command throws, uh, actually have, uh, bigger frame, uh, sorry, um, whiff windows, bigger whiff windows than normal throws. Mm -hmm. Um, so that, so that's Astroth. So I think they add, like, 8 to 10 frames to the frame gap window. I'm sorry, the, um, the whiff window. Uh, and this is relevant ah, yes. because... Because this gives you more time to do the optimal throw punish, which is A6 lethal. And that didn't lethal? Come on. Don't make me a liar. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> uh, so, like, that's kind of like your optimal, like, oh, oh my god, you're, uh, you with the throw, take this A6 lethal. Uh, so that's one, like, bright spot in the matchup where you have a little bit more time to react to the command throws. Uh, worst case, you just kind of do that, which is the gunpowder. Yeah, even worse against uh, <clears throat> even worse against characters like Raph, right? Because if you're you know if you're a Raph and you're able to do the uh, the grab with punish into lethal, it's even going to be even more effective against the character like Asta. Oh man, like Raph, uh, he's an execution character too. But like, I wish I had that lethal hit just because like all you have to do is do the full crash three B uh, in reaction to a throw, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty I much. Have, I have to ace. Oh my god, I have to like step in a six. Um, <laughs> but there's ways around this. You know, you just do like you know, recover 3B or whatever, but uh, I thought this was worth mentioning just because, like, that can be a weakness for Astroth, where, like, he whips longer than other characters uh, because of the command grabs, and that applies to Ivy as well, who actually yeah. has a big whip window. 
Um, and that's about it about Astroth, unless uh, there's any questions, I can move on to the next character. Um, I think generally just trying to, you know, like blaze through these as much as possible because the, it's the it's the basic information that is in, that's the most helpful to people. Like, what do I do as a tacky against this character? What can this character do to shut me down? You know, that basic kind of stuff. Um, and if there are any questions, I will let you know in the chat. But uh, sure. outside of that, let's uh, just keep moving on. Okay. Yep. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I made these a little concise. Um, Gloomy Tira. Uh, can be annoying. Uh, she kind of plays like Nightmare, where she like you know backsteps and does like you know three B. Um, she has like heavy launcher, and her backstep is like pretty ridiculous. Um, however, uh, Takaki's punishment game is like really relevant here, just because she has like a lot like minus twelve stuff. Um, and Meki is very relevant in Jolly because um, her typical six B series uh, that can actually be controlled uh, just because of the fact that like. Um, she has a eight frame. Uh, I'm talking about Taki. So like that's normally a safe string, but like Taki can Meki punish that. God, imagine if Tira had an eight frame. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Oh. Okay, I'm doing it too slow, but uh, yeah. So like this kind of like helps your options a little bit if like people are struggling with the the six B series. Like you can. Oh God, I'm not executing, but you get the idea. Yeah. I'm doing it a little too early. early. Yep. Um, but obviously the problem is a uh, gloomy Tira. Uh, but Taki A6 lethal, um, like, that's really relevant for, like, a lot of, uh, key tools that Gloomy Tyria has, like, um, her 3B. Mm -hmm. Um, but, yeah, I feel like it's a even matchup, but, like, at the same time, not that scary for Taki, just because, like, you know, her punishment game is very relevant for, uh, Gloomy Tira. Um, you can block Gloomy Tira 3A series, and you can get 6-6B six, six lethal, which is, uh, very cool. Um, just like a lot of opportunities to get a uh, lethal hit damage on a Gloomy Tira. Uh, and plus you have um, an 8 frame and a 10 frame, and her fastest move is 12 frames, so that kind of give you like an edge uh, when you know, you're know you in each other's faces. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So that's about it. Uh, just watch out for the back step, and you know, God, it's an easier step. time. Yeah, that, that back step is, oh god. But once you're in, like you win. That's how I feel about that. <laughs> you just straight up win. Alright, fair enough. You just win. You know? <laughs> There, aren't, um, yeah, there, there, there aren't many people who would be that confident in saying that they have a straight up, like win condition against the character. So uh, that's quite refreshing to hear that uh, against the, against a character, a, a main is happy to say you basically just win this matchup if you play the character while you're in at like range one, range zero. Okay, dude, uh, don't say that because like I have Soul Calibur without borders in a little bit, so like I, I <laughs> so I'm gonna get blown up by a tier character or a tier player uh, if you say that like. That's how like the jinx works. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> somebody's gonna clip this, and that's gonna be the clip oh! every time you get blown up by a Tira in any Taki tournament loses. online now. <laughs> Taki, Taki sucks, loses. But on five, she's garbage. Well, like you know, that's that's you know, we're we're, we're kind of like theory crafting, right? And just like you know, Taki is kind of like designed to be like unmatched at close range. Yeah. Uh, despite her being having issues, like her close range is like really good, despite not having like you know really good lows. Um, mm -hmm. That low is okay, but like, you know, she has plenty of tools to like fight up close. Uh, Mechie, you know, eight frames, whatever. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And that style is like relevant for like this matchup when she lacks like a 10 frame, uh, like Tira. Uh, just don't whiff and you'll be fine. <laughs> just don't whiff. Easy. <laughs> yeah, uh, where is uh, Maxi? So Maxi is, uh, is an interesting matchup because the go to, where is the Maxi portrait? Uh, do, 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 do. He's, um... At the top somewhere. Oh, there it is. is. Yeah, okay. Top right, yeah. We're next to Maxi. Uh, just to kind of like leave him up on the screen. Um, so this is interesting because like, at this range, Maxi wins. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Uh, he is pretty effective spacing, there, yeah. Right? Like he just has like short nunchucks. Um, up close, so it's it's kind of in my opinion like kind of momentum based. Like if I can just like be up here and like you know pressing buttons over him, uh, talk, this is a pretty comfortable place for Taki. Because, like, his best mid is, like, six uh, A plus B, and that's 16 frames. But, like, he lacks, like, really relevant 14 frames besides, like, 3K, which can be kind of annoying. But, like, um, his best dance tr transitions are, like, mostly, like, linear and, like, um, 16 frames, like, max speed, for example. Um, but, yeah. like, if Maxi can start his loop pressure, um, Taki can challenge... Um, but his, like, counter hit game is, like, she can get, he can get a lot of damage off it, so, like, the go-to, like, universal option is just, like, you know, 
block something that you can recognize and like just run away from the the loot pressure. <laughs> Um, that, like no joke, that is how you fight Maxi. You, you <laughs> run away from the loot pressure if you don't. Know you have to run away because it. like if you block a B, like that interrupts like his options just like interrupt everything you can do, and it's like for counter hit. Where at the very least, it's a it's a scary guess. Um, so I guess I can go to that a little bit. Like yeah, sure. So if you block single B, you, you get like you gotta hold that. It's it's so annoying. Um, there's counterplay though, so like block it, like sidestep. But like he can do like A, so in this situation, I'm actually afraid to sidestep because of how run counters work in Soul Calibur 6, right? Yeah. So I'm more comfortable just kind of doing like a standing block or crouching block mix up because like if I guess wrong and you know I crouch that, like it's not that bad. And then like I'm pushed out and I can like reset my neutral. Like that's still a chunk of damage, but it's not like counter hit, knock down, Maxi gets a turn again kind of damage, you know? Yeah, for sure. Uh, but like. In the best case, like, you know, I'm out of here. So the very problem with, like, okay, I'm out of here is now I'm back in Maxi's, like, comfortable range. <laughs> and I have to get back in again. <laughs> um, so, like, it kind of feels like Maxi favored because of that reason. Because, like, if you run away, it's Maxi uh, favored. Uh, if you're close, it's Taki favored. But Maxi has his, you know, stance pressure uh, that he can, like, you know, loop you with. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, benefit... I-8s and I-10s are very much a maxi bane so if you're able to make use of a lot of the gaps and hit you know like two slide ba or aa it's oh, yeah. uh, it's really good to stop maxi doing that pressure so i can understand oh, yeah. why you would say that tacky <laughs> when up close is really a uh, tacky favored mm -hmm. yeah yeah you, you said it perfectly um like if you want to play with fire and actually like challenge the loop while he's like looping um taki does have good tools because she has like you know a 12 frame mid where you know you don't care about the non-jailing just because you're just going for an interrupt, right? That's mm -hmm. a 12 frame. Um, A6 is really relevant. Uh, and 3B, um, you're catching, like, um, a loop move that's high, and you can go under that. Um, the trick it or the problem with this is that, like, the risk-reward kind of feels, like, in Maxi's favor. So, like, you're, like, I think the safe thing is just, like, find a way to, like, run away. Um, <laughs> yeah. Or, like, do a standing block, crotch block kind of mix-up. Um, you can challenge, but you're playing with fire, and you might eat, like, 80 damage plus a uh, counter hit. Um, and a quick, like, did you know before we move on to the next character? Um, mm -hmm. let's see. Uh, behind lower. Okay, cool. Uh, behind lower. Wait, I already did that. Okay, uh, she has a great punish for this. And I'm gonna go random to show confidence. Okay, got it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> A6. Okay, that's supposed to be lethal. A6 lethal. Yeah. Like, she can punish both options really well. A6 lethal. If you can, look, to be fair, if you can step uh, step 2G maxi behind lower on reaction all the time as a tacky, you're a god and you deserve to win anyway. Exactly. So just for uh, reference, behind lower um, K is I24, and behind lower B is I22. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, this this is a god reactions, but like if you want to challenge, like you know the step two G is like really effective, mm -hmm. and you get a uh, a very sizable punish for that. Yeah, and uh, behind lower is one of his most recognizable stances because you know they go behind his back. Oh, so if you want to contest Maxi behind lower, then you go for step two G, uh, but it's not easy by any means at all, especially if you're already used to kind of stand blocking and dealing with just maxi pressure by standing there it's not easy at all yep um but like you know with some practice like you get used to it um i was so proud to like be able to pull this off in a tournament in uh evo japan and i was like yeah because <laughs> <laughs> this is so is hard to do you are here doing this ttt <laughs> thank you um but that's that's one thing uh about this uh matchup mm -hmm. um but if you're multi-character specialist uh Taki can have a hard time but you know, if you're a crazy person, you want to challenge the loop stuff, uh, I guess Taki has tools for that. I just don't recommend it. Yeah. All right, moving on. <laughs> um, oh, and the A6, uh, yeah, you already saw the A6 lethals being really relevant. Mm -hmm. We talked about that. Um, oh, and just uh, just look out for his, um, his good uh, transitions, which is, like, universal. You know, his good transitions are, like, B on block, 6-6 uh, B on block, and jump B on block. Um, those are like the stuff they have to recognize that you just cannot challenge. Um, yeah. You can do a standing guard or a crouching guard. That's it's universal. Yeah, kind of just general <laughs> maxi tips. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, God, all right, timing. Uh, Sophitia, um, tough matchup for Taki, honestly. Um, she's not quite a zoning character. However, she's one of the characters I talked about where, like, she can, you know, make use of, like, small disadvantages and, like, use her back step to, like, you know, bait you into bad counter pokes, and she can just, like, F you up for it. Mm -hmm. Um, 2-2-B is the bane of my existence, but she has a good punish for that. <laughs> um, but otherwise, um, when she, when Taki's in close, like, yeah, like, Sophia doesn't have, like, a 10 frame, but, like, she's got auto GIs, and she's got, like, evasion everywhere and she's got like a tech crouching step for some reason so like <laughs> so when i'm here like i'm Something. scared and i should be confident <laughs> you know um the bright spots for the matchup is that like uh punishment can be really relevant you know if uh sophitia is like doing a lot of um you know sixth a like she's trying to like get in mm -hmm. uh you know punishment game is like online you know and like oh, oh, okay yeah, I'm like, okay, so she's dealing with that. I'm gonna do six six B, and then now A six lethal is online. Um, so that's kind of like the more you're able to do all this is like that can curb the advantage like to your favor, but like it's still pretty hard just because you know it's a safe launcher. Um, among all the other things that Sophia has, uh, your soul charge can match hers pretty well. Like I think um, Taki soul charge is one of the best in the game currently. Um. So that's an area you can match Sophia. Uh, but other than that, uh, not fun. Like I, Taki is supposed to be the turn stealer, but I don't feel that way against like the best Sophies. <laughs> oh, the, against the best Sophies like Zephukai, I would against using any character, I'd be terrified. But yeah, against a character that's meant to be a turn stealer, Sophie is that character down to a T. Yeah. So like. This is actually where I'm like, comfortable. I'm like, okay, you know what? You just come to me because I'm terrified of like going to you. Like, <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> and, like get your, like a sixes, um, and like you really have to be patient here. Just like, okay, uh, I'm just gonna take my plus two, uh, you know, maybe chip damage. Sure, why not? Because like, if you like mess up taking your turn, then you're gonna get auto GI'd or two two bead or like any of the other reverse mix ups that Sophie has. Yeah. Okay. Um, probably nothing further than that. So uh, for Sophia, but yeah, you 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 basically uh, summarize it uh, for Sophia, just like being a strong character in Soul Calibur Six. Yeah, ridiculously strong. I mean, some people, you know, tier list discussion, lol, lol. But some people even put her in cast like top five, top ten. That um, is how that is how strong that some people think this character is, just purely from tools. So yeah, know. pre like pre patch, like I feel like Sophia like is definitely in my top five list, and like. When I ask myself if she's like top one, mm -hmm. um, I kind of struggle finding counter arguments like in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so, at the very least, it's safe to say that she's in the conversation, maybe, maybe for top one, and I might get blown up on the internet for that. But like, Sophie is definitely strong. I mean, you may, but I mean, it's you know a personal opinion. Who really cares? Yeah, 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 yeah you're right. Um, all right. Uh, going through this, um, uh, pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, Killick, uh, is really interesting. Um. So, like, the most annoying thing about Killick is his, um, step rising B. Um, uh, so, yes. a Killick abusing this. I love this move. <laughs> so, okay, so there's a few things about this move. Um, oh, Killick bot. You're so special. You're so oh, wow, special. it's super laggy. Okay. Um, so, the most annoying thing about this is, like, yeah, it's linear, but, like, it kind of negates your B series, just because, like, look at the amount of spacing it does, and look how much range that B has. Uh, so the act of him, like, doing a sidestep into, um, Rising B, uh, this makes it really hard for Taki to, like, start his B series. Like, there, there you go. Like, yeah, he just punished the hell out of my, um, 14 frame mid. Um, but easy adjustment, like, you just have to minimize, like, how much you do your B series. Um, because, like, if you just call out Rising B, then A6 is online. And that's kind of the, that's kind of the pattern with, like, Taki matchups, right? Is, like, do you have a lot of opportunities for A6 lethal? If the answer is yes, then, you know. <laughs> yeah. Any opportunity for A6 lethal, then you go for that opportunity. No questions asked. Yeah. Um, but, and this is minus 12, so, like, even if I, like, can't punish here, like, I can use that 12 frames to, like, close the gap. There isn't a single person that's going to be able to punish that. Uh, like, maybe, maybe? Yo Yoshi? Uh, Yoshi, or maybe <laughs> I... No, nobody. I don't think anybody can punish that on block. It's it's kind of silly, um, but like you can take that opportunity to like do um approach tool like unlike Astroth like 
it's not that scary to, to use Taki's like approach tools uh, in the Killick matchup. Um, mm -hmm. He's got like long range pokes, but they're not like you know, uh, insane counter hit launcher kind of things. Mm, yeah. Um, so charge is a little scary just because like you want to run away and uh, Killick is just kind of like you know bulldozing his way into your face. Um, yeah. yeah. That is. But, I mean, I've just started picking up Killick again, so this is all useful for me. Um, so, you know, while Rising B to the cows come home until the tanky starts sidestepping into A6. Yeah, like, you, 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 have, you have to, like, call this out, or else, like, this is, like, really difficult to deal with. Mm -hmm. uh, and now your B-series can, like, you know, come back online. Like, you can give yourself confidence to do B-series, because, like, you know, like, this this whiff's, like, almost, like, point range, uh, point blank. Okay, I got lucky there, but you, you get the point. Like, she doesn't have that much Mecca's range on she's lying to us again. <laughs> I don't mean it. Um... So that's the thing that uh, just pointed out. It's it's kind of back and forth. Um, some Taki players are comfortable with it. Some uh, Taki players, uh, you know, get frustrated when he can like kind of control your movement up close. Mm -hmm. Overall, I, I think it's a fine matchup. It's not like unwinnable like either way. <laughs> so Art Grey's just said the uh, Moon Setska can punish it four four B plus K. Yeah, that is probably the only character in the game who could. That is an excellent point. Um, lagging a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a excellent point. Um, it's a good move, but, you know, it's linear, and, you know, Taki loves linear things, because she can ace six lethal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, was there any extra stuff worth doing? Uh, eh, not really. Uh, I think we covered everything. Not much. Uh, uh, yeah. Are you ready for, uh, this character? Uh, Cervantes. Um, so, uh, spoiler alert, like, for the rest of the cast, like, it doesn't feel like Taki has like unwinnable matchups, maybe like hard matchups. Um, but this eh, kind of a hard matchup, just because. Um, so what was our theory like before we got into this? Like any character that can like use small like disadvantages, like frame disadvantages, and like backstep uh, to like negate Taki's um, you know counter poke. Yeah. Uh, can give Taki a hard time, and I do believe that like Cervantes is one of those characters. Um. The advantage for Taki is that, like, Taki's block punishment is relevant for key tools, like 3B, you know, relevant punish. Rising A, uh, you can launch punish that. Like, all that is good. Um, the neutral, you just have to get past the neutral game. Uh, so, like, stuff that kind of, like, frustrates me, uh, do, 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 where's the record button? It's, like, you know, that stuff right there. <laughs> uh, just, like, just, like, the start of the party. Yeah. Um, because, like, okay, so, that doesn't sound too bad, like, you know, I can catch this back step with like six A plus B, right? Mm -hmm. But six A plus B is linear, so he can sidestep into you know three B launch if you like. He's really looking for it. Um, like you can deal with this by like backing up, but like you know you just gave him free damage. So like if you're trying to challenge like Servi, like from situations such as this, or like he's doing A six back step or whatever, um, the risk reward is mostly in Servi's favor, in my opinion. Um, because like. Cool, I just guessed right on the back step. Like, that's my damage. I get a mix up, sure, but like, you know, that's all I get. His reward for calling out my 6A plus B is a 70 damage launch. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. Um, that's just so before you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, that kind of like just tells me, like, the matchup uh, in a nutshell. And, like, the most annoying move for me is, like, you know, safe 12 frame horizontal mid that's safe on block and plus six on hit um which is kind of annoying when you're trying to do like um like ninja cannon pressure yeah. um i have opportunities to call it out but like the fact that he has this is like uh, it's it's not fun like i can't backstep it from here well i can but like yeah but it i mean like yeah. max max spacing a plus b sure but it's not going to be completely consistent, is it? I mean, while Rising K yeah. being safe and being as good as it is, is just uncalled okay. for, excuse me. It's completely uncalled for, in my opinion. Move needs to be okay. left. But anyway. I, I was doing it too slow here. So, like, this is, um, you know, if I want a Ninja Cannon backstep, um, I have to max range it. Um, so that's kind yeah. of not fun. Um, same thing with sidestep. Uh, it's a safe sidestep, but... Um, so the whole point is, like, this feels awkward for me as a Taki player, and it's something I have to think about. And I think mm -hmm. it's a really strong tool for uh, um, Cervantes. Um, I love having good punishment game for Cervi stuff, um, and I love having like you know 10 frame, 8 frames, or whatever. 
Um, and those are bright spots in the matchup. Like, it's not an unwinnable matchup for uh, Taki. Like, you know, if he's, like, trying to chase you, and I think, you know, people know that, like, Cervantes' uh, ability to chase is, like, a little bit weak. Like, if he's chasing you from here, you can, like, oh, you can match him, like, mid-range there, just go for AAK counter hit, or just, like, you know, oh, he's trying to run and block, uh, you know, take this plus two. Mm, yeah. Um, Like, Cervantes wants to play neutral, you kind of want to play, like, a counter neutral game, if that makes sense. Um, Because you have fast buttons, uh, and you have great, like, anti-approach tools. Um, You kind of went up close, but, like, again, you have to look out for, like, you know, good tools like Rising K. Uh, which oh, I think I can, no, I can do that. Yeah. Uh, Luckily, it's level three GI. Um, and Taki's GI game is really good. I don't think we talked about that a lot. Um, I can demonstrate something for you really quick. Sure. Uh, so take it. Uh, take a look at Taki's meter. Damn. <laughs> Almost half. That's a half a bar. That's yep. over half a bar. Okay. Cool. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah. So, so if I complete that combo, that would be a little bit half a bar. Um. So, the one bad thing is that, like, the damage is not that great. Um, so that's free off of level 3. But, like, the fact that I get, like, so much meter, and I get, like, Oki, okay, like, I think that's perfectly fine, because, like, you know, we already know the op other option. If they do a Reversal Edge or Guard Impact, they're risking, like, close to 90 damage for doing a defensive option. Um, and that's, like, Taki's uh, GI game in a nutshell. Like, she can mix up between a uh, ninja cannon or doing, like, um, 6 XB or doing a sidestep, um, high step A6. Um, so that's a GI game during the Cervantes explanation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's level 3 GI. You get lethal hit there. Like, that's fine. And you get a lot of meter for it. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's almost half a bar. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good bar, bar gain, considering. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that's Cervantes, unless there's anything I'm missing with Cervantes. Uh, super strong character. Um, I think it's, uh, not unwinnable. Uh, there's things you can do. And I hope I covered those things that you can do. <laughs> you did, yeah. I mean, it's good to know. I mean, it, it was kind of evident that Taki wins up close in a lot of matchups. Yep. But, um, it's also good to know that sometimes she can be effective at, like, range three or four as a character against some others. Yeah, um, so, oh, like, if a Taki player is, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If a Taki player is, like, struggling to, like, get in close, like, um, I would advise just, like, try to be a little bit more patient. Just, like, you know, mix up your timings. Like, just hang back here, force them to approach. And then, like, your ability to kill approach is, like, really good. You know, you got 2-2-A, you got all the counter hits that I talked about before. Mm -hmm. Um, you're just, like, trying to find your way into 6 plus B. And then, like, you know, when you notice that, like, they're just gonna stand still, then, you know, approach. Yeah. But if you're just gonna like, you know, do this every time you get a turn, then like characters can blow you up for it. Um just like All right, Omega. There. Let's let's get on with this goddamn character uh. before I blow my brains out. Okay. Uh. Maybe I'll maybe I'll mute this part. No, actually maybe I'll only make this part available on YouTube just so people know how to beat Zomina. Uh. 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 Uh, just get so it, get, get, just get it over with, Omega. We can, we can breeze past it. It's bloody character. That's kind of the matchup in a nutshell. Um, <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we already know like her ability to like you know zone or whatever, but like, uh, and you you mentioned the pattern. Taki wins up close, but like the fact that she has a twelve frame a two a mm -hmm. just makes things just like a little awkward. Um, I have to do a risk like to call it out, but like you know. If I'm not careful, then, like, she just gets her plus two, and then, you know, she runs away. Yeah. And yeah. this right here is just, like, you know, feels bad situation for Taki. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, once you're in close, like, you're good. Uh, just occasionally call out the 2A, make her afraid to use it, and then, like, you know, this gives you, like, room to mash. But, like, oh, her beast doesn't even reach. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... Very relevant punishment game for the key tools, which is like 6A and uh, 2-2-B. You can either 3-B or you 4-B-A. Uh, so what's this one? Uh, okay, you can launch punish that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, and it has less pushback, so like... This was good even like before the pushback nerf. Uh, and the fact that there's a pushback nerf is like... Makes 3-B like more consistent. Like, dude, oh, that 3B is not even that. connecting. Like, how's this launching? <laughs> oh my god. Ogbo, please. No, shut up. 
this moves fine. <laughs> okay, bro, please fix. Uh, but yeah, it, it looks like it's it's not connecting at all. Maybe a couple of pixels on her shin, maybe, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so that was like tip range, but uh, yeah. So punishment game very relevant. Um, close range. Uh, yeah, she has to push you out, but like she has a twelve frame uh traditional two A. So like that sets her up for you know being able to contain Taki. Yeah. And she has all the GIs on top of that. Um, so very like I guess simple game plan, just like you know approach and then execute. Um. A quick uh, did you know, I guess, is uh, between... Oh god, I just resetted it. Between uh, these two mix-up, beginning of the round, like, you can, like, hilariously... Like, round one, fight. You can hilariously, like, do a side win roll, <laughs> and it'll make both options whipped. <laughs> I mean, that's honestly not a bad piece of advice, especially for people who don't really understand what uh, win roll does. Yeah, like, because, I don't know, like... Uh, a lot of Mina players like do like 6A or like 2-2B right here, so like, you know, I've done this in tournament before and I just like laugh. You don't even get that much reward, but it's just like, eh, I'm in close now. Yeah. Um, obviously like if they call it out, you know, they can do like the Mina break attack low thing, but like, I, I just thought this part was neat. 2A plus B. Yeah. Yeah, uh, 2, um, oh, yeah, yeah, 2A plus B for Mina. Yeah. Uh, hate this matchup. Taki does win up close, but, like, you have to get around all the close range stuff that, uh, Mina can do. Uh, mm -hmm. the Hell Sweet nerf might make a difference, so I could re-explore this matchup and reevaluate. but that's my current thoughts before, uh, exploring it more. Yeah. Uh, ugh. Oh, that was, that was painful, but we made it. Well, we've got the next one coming up, which is even more painful. Oh, you know what? Uh... Painful in the fact that it's the character, not about the matchup. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> um, so... Raph? Um, so, Raph, yeah, uh, your stress about this character is definitely, like, sound. Um, but this might possibly be Raph's worst matchup. <laughs> oh, yeah, I uh, know. Which is hilarious. Yeah, so, um, and here's, like, the main reason why that she just, uh, you know, just tell the story. Uh, A6 lethal is amazing! <laughs> like... <laughs> No reverse mix up oh, for you, Raph. That is like, disgusting. And it's just funny because, like, he has a, an auto evade uh, for highs, right? Like, he does. if he just detects a high, like, he just does it automatically. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, the fact that, like, Taki has a high into mid, like, negates the auto evade. So, even if that, like, shadow evade is actually an auto evade, like, the result is still the same. Like, he's gonna do, like, the Matrix, uh, you know, bullet dodge thing, and, like, you still get this lethal hit. Um, and this gets around the, uh, what is it, uh, Quick Parade? Auto GI? Mm -hmm. So you can't even, like, call it out. Like, if I block 3B, like, hold this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's the gist of, actually, the matchup. It's just, like, you're making it really awkward for Raph to, like, get his pressure game on. Um, and the general universal, uh, you know, graph weaknesses, where he's kind of linear, so that sets up A6 lethal. Um, and he doesn't have a really, like, reliable, quick, like, mid-check, you know, like a quick mid that's, like, you know, safe on block and healthy yeah. range and tracks or whatever. Um, but that's basically all I'm willing to say about the matchup. Like, the fact that, you know, you're able to do this when, like, half the cast has to, like, guest. Um, Not this is a real good cast to guess. <laughs> or, or more than half, like... The whole cast, right? Yeah. Um, but like, this is really awkward if you don't have your A6s down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but even a, you know, even a, a, a raw A6. Oh no, that's gonna whiff. Weird. Okay, you have to get your A6s, because she takes that extra step forward. And that makes, you know, all your dreams come true. <laughs> um, all of them. Yeah. Uh, we know that Raph has the, the RE cancel, so like, you know, Taki, once again, uh, the best character for blowing up defensive options. Uh, Ninja Cannon says, uh, I don't care about your RE cancel, I'm just gonna Ninja Cannon you. Uh, or, um, and we don't haven't talked about this a lot, but hopefully I can be kind of quick about this. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that you can confirm your possession. Uh, you know, oh my god, I'm being Reversal Edge, time to press 4 into uh, Punish. <laughs> And this is confirmable. Can everybody's BB do that, please? That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> be safe. That'd be wonderful. 
Hey, dude, like, that's that's our RE punish. Um, or, you know, just call it out, whatever. Yeah. Big damage. And if it's just like, you know, you guess wrong is block, whatever. Just like, you know, you do BBB mix up. But that's about it. Uh, honest, probably Taki, oh, sorry, Raphael's worst matchup, but like, Raphael's still like a strong character. Um, you know, if you block bleed, you gotta hold that. Like, you, there's no way around that. Uh, just avoid yeah. bleed and hope you can get A6 lethals. Raphael's still top five. Yeah, Raphael's still, still mad three. good. Um, so yeah, multi-character specialists, uh, you know, want to answer to Raphael, you can consider Taki and work on those A6s. Easy clap. Uh, <laughs> tell him. Um, I sense some disagreement with this uh, matchup. I think it's fine. Um, so Talum's biggest thing is that, like, she gets a lot of damage on counter hit, possibly more damage than Taki, if that makes sense. Yeah. And it's Talum, it kind of makes sense, right? Yeah. So, like, just playing, like, you know, Unga Bunga mashing can be a little dangerous against a Talum, because, like, if you mess up doing a turn steal, um, she gets her own counter hit, and she gets uh, a lot of big damage. So I actually prefer to play this matchup, like, a little, like, defensively. Um with the reasoning that, like, you can take advantage of the gaps in her stances, mm -hmm. and that gives you a chance to, like, you know, guess against, like, you know, the the Talum stance uh, options or whatever. Uh, and that's, like, your opportunity for damage. Um, she has a clean punish for, like, 2-2-A. Like, this will... Oh, she's still on Reversal Edge. Um, if she does 2-2-A, like, this will just, like... Even if she transitions to stance, um, your 12 frame mid would just catch everything. So that is extremely nice. Um, and actually, 4BA is actually not the optimal punish because um, he can backstep. So actual optimal punish is A6. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Always. Because like, if she does uh, the backstep, um, it can actually avoid the 4BA, uh, which is dangerous for you because she can then like win cannon you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, actually, I'll just do it now. What am I doing? Do, 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 do. Yeah, so we all seen that before, right? <laughs> so course. certain ranges, I think 4BA whiffs. Um, well, yeah, because she's, <clears throat> she's in the air. It's a pain in the ass. Okay, it was whiffing a lot in my match. Uh, okay, there it is. <laughs> uh, I mean, so, Talon is a very distance-based character, right? Like, up close. Mm -hmm. But, uh, like, if you want reliable... Video. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, but if you want reliable, A6 is the way to go because, like, she's got the mid component, right? And that extends a little further out. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. <laughs> you get the knockdown into Oki. That's amazing. Yeah, so that is uh, super important. And then it doesn't matter. Like, this is your true punish. This will cover all your options. Um, and a lot of the matchups is like that. Like, T T Talon has a lot of, like, minus 12, minus 16 stuff that Taki can take advantage of. And a lot of opportunities to do 6SB lethal and A6 lethal uh, during gaps in her stances. So if you make a read and she's like stance dancing you, um, you can step A6 certain transitions. Uh, or you can do 6SB to get under her uh, stance highs. Um, but if you're mashing against her, her, she has some of the best tech crashes in the game. Mm -hmm. And she has really good counter hit damage, so you oh, have to be careful on your offense. Um, if you want to be safe, you know, do the... Do the tomahawk thing. Just like work on the guard break and look for throws. Uh, react with punishes. Did that all make sense? Yeah, yeah. It all makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I saw the wind cannon. Oh god. Push dramatic. Um, but yeah, that's Sorry, a matchup. Yeah. Oh, oh, and obviously, um, one I, sec. I I'm about actually the... getting a knock on the door. I'll be right back. Uh, continue oh, sure, talking sure, about sure. stuff, and I'll be back. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, do I just uh? Uh, talk about stuff. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just go to the next character. Uh, do 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 do. And she does a uh, reversal edge cancels. Like again, like Taki doesn't care about the reversal edge cancels because um, you know, she has confirmable transitions. Uh, that wasn't it. Whatever. And obviously, she can blow it up with um. Ninja cannon. Oh, that's that's not a good transition. It's going on a little long. Yeah, so you can do- oh my god. <laughs> so, that kind of works, even though that was bad. But, you get the point, like... Any character that has reversal edge cancels, like, it's not a concern for Taki. 
Um, it's more of a concern for like characters like Astroth, where like Talon can just RE cancel all day, and there's nothing Astroth can actually do about it. Um, but Taki actually has answers to Reversal Edge cancel. Like, it should be pretty scary to Reversal Edge cancel against uh, Taki because she has potential 90 damage. Uh, do 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 do. I miss Danarai. You remember him? Uh Apologies, I'm back. Okay. We're uh we're almost through the cast. Uh hopefully you can oh, pick up a little bit. Okay. Uh but yeah, I was explaining that like, you know, Talon has versatile edge cancels, but like what we talked about before, Taki doesn't care about that. She can confirm into a possession transition to get around the cancels, or she can just blow it up with A plus B. Right. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um Okay, so you're already stressed out about this character? Um, oh, as but... well. Oh, god. Yeah. <laughs> so, not bad for Taki, honestly. Um, so, I guess I can go by like the stances. Um, sword, like you really have to limit your move list. Like you have to get, you have to practice just like doing extremely safe stuff. Like, uh, rising A. Like that's minus two on block, and it's a horizontal mid. Mm -hmm. uh, and more importantly, like as well, can't punish it. Um, if he catches you doing anything minus 10 or worse, then you're going to get, you know, a bead and you have to deal with, uh, axe pressure. Um, so that's like the number one thing. Like you have to track his weapons and you have to track that. Like he's in, you know, he's in sword. If he's in sword, really limit that move list. Like you can't do anything punishable. Like even this, like he can punish it. <laughs> um, he wasn't sword there, but I swear that is a punish. In fact, I'll just do, uh, I'll just do AA, whatever. So you yeah, you yeah. have to you have to limit your move list, um, which is not that bad. Uh, just rising A is your go-to. Uh, not so much 3 KK, you can punish that. Uh, and 3 B is kind of scary, honestly. Like, okay, that situation is fine, but like, since it's a 10 frame knockdown, like all Aswell has to do is just like wait for Taki to land, and he can just do A uh, A B knockdown. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and if it's just like raw, then he can A side B knockdown. Like 3 B is actually kind of like scary in this situation. Unless you read that he's going to do, like, you know, A, B there. <laughs> That's so, like, ridiculous. So, yeah. So, you have Tech Crotchet. Um, this is a risk, but, like, you kind of... It, it's worth doing every once in a while. Like, you know, get your opponent to be comfortable and, like, you know, use that Tech Crotch. Oh, okay. um, you want to be extra safe, just, like, you know, Rising A, Rising A. Or you're going to do single B. So, step A6 edge. against Aswell in general, what? Firstly, against as well when he's in sword, you're saying you have to limit your move list. Would you say that's good advice in general for a lot of the other characters in the class? Um, you know what? I would say so, just because like his um single A is like such long reach. Mm -hmm. Um, I imagine there are characters that have like really good back steps that like don't really care about that, or like good um pushback slash zoning tools. Mm -hmm. Um, if you push back like um as well like here, um, you know the other characters might have a better time, but like. Taki doesn't really have much in terms of, like, pushback. Yeah. Um, like, maybe that, but, like, I can't really backstep that. Yeah, so that's hard. It's <laughs> still crazy range, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, the answer to that question is, yeah, probably a universal advice, but um, if you have pushback zoning tools, uh, you might have uh, more options than Taki. Okay, um, yeah. And then 2-2-B is, like, the craziest move ever, but it got nerfed now, so could be another matchup that I want to uh, re-explore. Um... And really quick, we all know about Axe. Uh, Axe is opposite. Uh, go ham, for the love of God. <laughs> Press every button you have. Press every button, like, he's giving you permission. Um, the 14 frame uh, 6B is still, like, annoying, but, like, you can... Oh, you can't punish that, actually. Uh, you can punish 3A, though. That's um that's a neat, like, Taki unique punish. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's minus 8, so, you know, mechie. It's not that scary for Aswell, but, like, it's enough to make Taki feel good. I swear this is a punish. <laughs> okay good there okay. you go got it yeah but um it's still like a crazy tool because you know it negates like movement and you get damage <laughs> um but yeah that's that's axe uh, that allows you to mash and spear is hilariously a6 all day <laughs> a6 like even just raw a6 um because uh i believe and i could be mistaken but i believe like like as well as uh fast options are mostly like full crouch 
Mm -hmm. Like, it isn't spear. Like, just raw A6, 10 frames, and that gets around um the spear art. Right, gotcha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Um, Obviously, if you mess up A6 and just get, like, the raw one, then, like, you can potentially spear art. Actually, can you spear art horizontal mids? I think uh, it's everything except highs, right? Just mids, no highs? Yeah, I think that's I think it. It's, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, A6, uh, you're afraid of shield art, A6. He's in spear, A6. Um, A6 for spear. Uh, yeah, 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 because it's, uh, it does blows and mids, so yeah, it doesn't do highs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And very relevant punishes if he does his typical mix up of, like, the, um, what, the shield low and, like, the shield uh, launcher. Uh, you can punish those really well on guesses. Um, pretty, pretty okay for, uh, Taki. Um, but obviously, like, as well as strength is, like, you know, get a knockdown with axe, uh, take these 50 50s, and as well has a crazy ring out. So you have to be careful about all that. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And when he's in sword mode, uh, he has, like, the, you know, the GI lethals. Um, to punish you for, like, doing really bad counter pokes. Um, definitely not an unwinnable matchup. Uh, both characters can do stuff for the matchup. I mm -hmm. think it's fine for that. Okay. Uh, Very rare to hear real. somebody say that an Azor well matchup <laughs> is fair for them, but refreshing. Oh, God. Is this uh, one of the longer streams uh, for us, uh, Danirai, or uh, are we going I think one here? of the longest ones has been three and a half hours, and we're currently at two hours 53 um i mean it's honestly fine i try and keep it to two hours 30 but you know we're on a roll we got people talking in chat it's enjoyable so i'm not going to stop you okay cool 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 um it's good to hear um just an hour and a half of that is just explaining 3b so like i think that's excusable. <laughs> 3b and a6 yeah <laughs> um grow uh fine matchup so what scares me is like when grows in soul charge uh pretty dangerous but like um, his punishes for highs are like, eh, they're okay. Mm -hmm. Um, he doesn't really have much to stop you from mashing besides, like, 2A. Um, the key thing is that, like, Meki solves a lot of problems. Uh, mm -hmm. let's see. And since it's laggy, I'm gonna fail to execute, but, like, it's gonna be fine. So, that transition is plus 3 into, um, Avenger. Plus 3, plus 4, is something right? Uh, 4A6 is plus 2, I think. Well, that doesn't matter because Meki just says no if I can execute. God damn it. I should just program the Taki to do this because I suck. I'm pretty Come sure. On. Are you trying to do two, two slide BA? Yeah. yeah. Um, I promise this does interrupt um, everything. There it is. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. A little slap across the face, yeah. Um, but this kind of gives you an idea of like what the matchup is like because like, that's his good transition on block and like you yeah. have an option to like negate every option as long as you can execute uh obviously you can make the hard read and do you know a6 lethal but like you know with perfect execution like he should not be able to get away with 4a uh, and you get that 30 damage that i talked about before uh, you get the counter hit whoops uh open spotify on stream my bad yeah i think is it my computer hmm. okay so 30 damage for go, yeah. interrupting a plus three uh horizontal mid sounds pretty good right <laughs> That is pretty damn good. I mean, it's a very specific situation because for growth, 4A6 isn't a really good... Like, it's a good transition. And, you know, if you can condition somebody to not mash on 4A6, it's turned into a mix-up. But in the grand scheme of things, plus two isn't great for a transition like that. And it's... Okay, I get it. Yeah. But, like, you know, like, that um tr uh, transition into Avenger BB, like, that's supposed to be, like, uninterruptible for, like, you know... All buttons, but like oh yeah, I mean that, like, yeah, every single yeah. member of the cast except for Taki can uh can lose to that all day. Yeah, so like I think since it's like Taki unique, uh, it's worth pointing out because like this kind of shows like the power of like Meki dealing with um you know stance transitions and strings. Mm -hmm. Um, as long as you execute perfectly and not the way I'm doing right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, it's fine. Um, we've we've already seen you do it. We yeah, get it. So uh, yeah, that's the grown up matchup. Um, his soul charge is super duper scary still. Um, but your soul charge is, like, just as good, if not better. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think I highlighted the soul charge, so just a quick demo. <laughs> yeah, go for uh, it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Time to win the game. <laughs> oh, BB. Uh, yep. Oh, uh, let's see. Soul charge normal. Time to win the game. Just, like, the potential for soul charge. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> it's, not, 
nuts, man. I mean, that that one change alone to a uh, soul charge made it incredibly difficult to uh, to counter. Yep, and then like uh, you know, if they try to step it, which you can, uh, you know, you do four ba. You do four ba. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you get it. Um, yeah. Grow matchup, Mechie everything. Um, very relevant punish for sixes A, which is Grow's best tool, right? You know, an entire country died to that move. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> shouts to you, you know who. But um, oh yes. But against Taki, um, she has really relevant punishes. She can A six it or four B A, and mm -hmm. that's uh, that can feel pretty bad if you're Grow. Uh, you just have to punish it every time. I mean, which is easy. yeah, I used to play yeah. Grow. I was that person. Uh, Rip gross. Amy, uh, God. fun matchup, dude. Is it really? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, um, so the gist of it is that, like, 90% of the game is, like, a spacing game. <laughs> because yeah. what I'm trying to look out for is, you know, the four A's and the one B's, because I don't want to get roses. And what she's looking out for is, like, three B. So, like, <laughs> so Super a lot fun. of the matchup against, oh, like, it's, like, good Amy players, like, this is where it is. So that's 90%. Which is a spacing game. Ten percent is like you know the other player just like you know going gorilla, going roar. It's my turn for ten seconds. Oh guys, your turn to go you know crazy for like ten <laughs> to fifteen seconds. Yeah. So like it starts out like a spacing game, and it's like really interesting until someone gets some kind of like knockdown or like frame advantage. In which case, it's just like ten to fifteen seconds of potentially the defending player just watching the other character uh, mash. <laughs> um. Such an exciting matchup. Uh, it's kind of fun. Uh, both characters are honestly capable of doing a train. Um, you know, Amy has, like, the knockdown loads and stuff, but, like, I have good, you know, guard break. Um, and I have good punishes for a lot of, uh, Amy stuff. And I have Mechie. Hmm. Oh, and a 3B. How can I forget 3B? <laughs> but, I mean, would you say this is a good matchup for Taki or a bad one? Or kind of even? For now, I'm going to say, uh, uh, maybe even. But, like, wow. if anyone has a, an advantage, um... That's uh that's up for debate. It can go either way. Like Amy is like the safe like you know if you want to bet money on it. Like okay, Amy's got this in a nutshell. But like there's stuff that Taki can do. Um, it's almost like Sofitia where like she does two two B. Uh, that puts A six lethal online. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then you know she does uh it's very similar to Sophie. Like she does that. Like you have relevant punish for that. And this is the important thing, the auto GIs. Um. Echo <laughs> Yeah, like all <laughs> A plus B for sure, but like she has like um their stances right, so like it's awkward yep. because she has attacks, so like she can interrupt your um your whatever. So the trick is like you have to, um, you have to mix up your hit levels, and the fact that she has a ten frame A, uh, an eight frame high, uh, twelve frame mid, and just a uh, like I guess a sixteen frame low, like as long as you mix it up, like you can easily like get around the auto GIs. Uh, if you really want to challenge, for example. Yeah. So, like, oh, mid parry is common. She has A6, very awesome. Or she has, like, Meki. Uh, or they go high parry for, like, a lot of situations. You have, um, you know, 4BA to get around that. Um, okay. So it's kind of like fight... she's got the options to beat the AGIs relatively easily, but, you know, it's not going to be a catch-all for every single... Uh, every single yeah, AGI. absolutely. You, 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 you hit it on the nail. Uh, you n nail on the head. Sorry. Um... So, like, a lot of people like to do, like, you know, the 2A, but, like, you know, that can get mid-parried and uh, low-parry. Mm -hmm. So, you don't have to worry about that. Just uh, go for your 4BAs or, like, try to bait out, bait out the lethal hits. Sorry, bait out the auto-GIs, I meant to say. Like, if your reactions are on point, oh, god, high-parry? Cool. A6. Hey, you whiffed uh, mid-parry? 4BA. Um, which is, like, a cleaner playstyle than just, like... You know, raw guessing what her auto GI is gonna be. Omega ready to bully Amy's online again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like this is why, like, um, you know, take any kind of frame advantage and just like try to challenge. Just uh, you know, don't be slow about it. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, I think I think Tacky's one of those characters, ultimately, that relies on those kind of things. Like, if you do while rising A into a step. The ideal situation won't be to just block, right? Because you're doing the war rising A into step with a purpose, and that purpose is to either like with punish yeah. a mid, or it's to interrupt a slower horizontal, or to tech crash something. So yeah, yeah, I think that's that's a good thing for a lot of people in general. That if you're mm -hmm. moving, especially in a situation like that, 
you should be moving with a purpose like why are you sidestepping why are you backstepping why are you doing like two on four two three six two on four two three six in neutral for no real reason yeah and it's like you know i you know move with a purpose like okay so amy just did a 3a and i just blocked it so i have six frames uh worth of movement to work with yeah, uh, yeah. and if he mashes then i can 3b um so if you want to like play this matchup like uh you know start here like try to see like how he wants to approach if you approach badly you can tag him like 3b um if he's like you know stutter stepping like this like you know meet him halfway like we talked about before mm -hmm. um and just find your like window to you know go unga <laughs> <laughs> um because you have 3d spacing that kind of outranges uh and outspeeds uh, a lot of amy options but yeah this is uh at the end of the day it's like a, a momentum match uh Mechie, very relevant like you gotta get good with meki for this matchup or else it's gonna be harder oh yes i can definitely see that like I, I think we already talked about that, where, um, you know, did, the power yeah. of the A-frame. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it was, like, <laughs> one of the first things we talked about in the stream. Yep. And she has other strings, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's worth, it's worth mentioning. So, she has, like, other strings like that. Um, and that's why Mickey's like, really, like, awesome. And it gets around mid-parry. So, I like Mickey in this matchup. And I like, you know, all the other tools she can do. And proactive guard break game. Yeah, makes your sense. Soul charge is your soul charge is better, and that's about it. Ready to move on to the next one? Yeah, of course. Okay. Super ready. Ultra ready. I definitely don't have Japanese food right now. Was that who was at the door? <laughs> it was the delivery guy with Japanese food. <laughs> um, who is next? Uh, Mitsu. Uh, I can get through this pretty quickly. Um, he's one of those characters who has a good backstep. Yep, he is. Um, he can kind of space you out, but you know broken record like Taki wins up close <laughs> um 10 frame is very relevant relevant punishment game um mitsu has you know a lot of his toolkit is like duckable highs steppable mids uh and his 3a uh doesn't have that much range and i think you already said the problems about his rising aa well, rising AA, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so movement is strong in this matchup uh and having your normal fast buttons are good for this matchup um does a uh, stream typically like lag the game or is it like my computer i don't know i don't think i've ever had anybody complain about lag doing the um discord streaming thing yeah uh i'm not entirely okay we'll, sure. we'll just roll with it i think we've been doing pretty good yeah uh okay but yeah that's 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 the matchup like he wants to space you out but like you know you have approach tools that's a very straightforward and... matchup yeah you can duck stuff you can uh you can sidestep stuff for A6. Um, one BB on block, you can just straight up block punish uh, with A6, uh, which is really nice. Uh, without any, like, you know, step execution. Oh, wait, I gotta block it first. Apparently, you have training set to 4 bar. Oh, wait. No way. That's, that's what oh, I was good. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, I, you know, I did that. I've done that before, but. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, Mitsu, yeah, he has a lot of uh, punishes where you can just do just block it and then just raw a six and you get lethal, which feels nice, dude. That actually looks pretty sick. Yep, that's optimal punish. Uh, you can three B there, whatever, but like you know, uh, execute. So yeah, that's the that's the Mitsu matchup. That literally took about three minutes. <laughs> well, you know, we, we've been at it for almost three hours now, so like I felt like I speeded up, but I did have this uh in the document like short uh <laughs> no it's true you did I, I looked through it it was really yeah. hilarious to see mitsu's game like the game plan against mitsu is so short um <laughs> uh, yeah that's that's it um and then like the details you know we have like documents and uh you know clips about all that but that's kind of like the nutshell yeah uh chase him properly uh don't whiff watch his back step uh Basically, yeah. Hilda, um I've only seen matchup. I had, had I don't I haven't played this matchup, um, you know, quite often. But like, you know, on paper, it's like you know what we keep saying over and over again. Uh, Taki wins up close. Uh, <laughs> Hilda wins up face. <laughs> um, and Tilda got buffed, so this could be a harder matchup for uh for Taki than in previous iterations of Soul Calibur Six. Um, and the rest of it is like uh kind of like the points that Boom was uh like pointing out, like you know we 
Hilda is charging A, then like she doesn't have two A, mm -hmm. and you can you know mash right. Um, and if she's holding B, then she's gonna let like her charge B rip, and you know that puts A six lethal online. Um, she is another character. Uh, you know, small block disadvantages, and she can backstep, and she can like really mess you up for big whip punish damage. Yeah. Um, but you know. Rush her down, you'll be fine. Uh, she has horizontal mids. Um, a lot of it you can punish, uh, or they're kind of on the slower side. Um, if they're playing like a lot of small caliber, like Signia likes to approach with uh, Hilda, then like you, you, you have to chill. Like block something, move. Block something, take your counter poke. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's a lot uh, more of a slow paced game, I guess, if you're trying to deal with a Hilda. Yeah. So. I think I said, like, you know, Taki is, like, fine all the way over here, but, like, you know, characters like Hilda can uh, make this, like, really frustrating. Because she can't really get damage <laughs> all the way over here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but matchup, I want more experience. Just, just, like, throw shurikens and you'll be fine. <laughs> She's a ranged character, guys. Range. Look at this, uh, what is it? 50 frame move? Yeah, 50. <laughs> Faster than Soul Charge, though. Um, but, yeah. Uh, a, a matchup I want to play more, but, like, that's kind of, like, the theory. Mm-hmm. Um, probably even, but I gotta play it more. Uh, Yoshi Mitsu, uh, Taki favored, but like, well, there's a lot of annoying things that Taki should like look out for. Uh, and Actually, that's the fact that like, like legit, hmm? you think this is Taki favored? Uh, well, um, but it helped that boom uh, helped uh, validate that statement. So, uh, <laughs> okay, wow. But still, like, um, but like last tournament I went against a uh, boom, uh, like he he um messed me up. So like, it's not like it's <laughs> unwinnable for Yoshi. Sure. Um, but the main thing is that, like, uh, at least, like, before this patch, uh, Yoshi gets a lot of his damage from stance, so the fact that, like, talking can just, like, delete stance is, like, mm -hmm. a big deal. And, you know, you've seen this before, uh, Meki's the MVP. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, and then if he does the, uh, what is it, the, um, uh, the Dragonfly A, then, you know, you can A6 slash 4BA punish that. Oh yeah. <clears throat> uh, so you delete stance pressure. Um, he can space you out, and he has a good back step. So like that can be frustrating. And if you're looking for your A6 lethals, um, his horizontal mids are very very good. Um, really? Do they do they give you an opportunity to do it without stepping? Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry. I meant to say that Yoshimitsu's uh, horizontal mids are good. Um, oh, because, right. Like, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, if you're looking for opportunities for, um, A6 lethal, um, the fact that he has, like, good horizontal mids could, like, you know, it could, that can help slow things down a little bit, but, like, you know, everything has some kind of, like, movement counter to it. Like, yeah. if I want to bait this, like, do something evasive. So, if you're getting frustrated by, like, um, like a, a neutral focus, like Yoshimitsu, like how Boom likes to play, like, you, your neutral kind of be like, okay, bait them and do something evasive. Like, if you're trying to match him neutral, uh, Yoshimitsu is just going to mess you up. His uh, his buttons are too good, and he has good movement. So, like, you know, if he's just doing, like, single B, and then, like, backing up, single B, backing up, just, like, you know, do something evasive. Like, make a read, because the damage you get off your reads will exceed the damage off his, like, single B poke. Does that make sense? <laughs> no, it makes complete sense, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and once you're in, you know, like, uh, you kind of have an advantage, like, close range. Um... So, Yoshi is practically, like, you know, a, a spacing character in this matchup. Um, it can be really frustrating, and he has good damage up close, but, like, that's kind of how you play it. You want to go in and, you know, don't get frustrated in a neutral game. Yoshi the zoner. Never thought I'd hear that. <laughs> like, um, but, yeah, that's kind of what I do. Is, like, I, I just try to make a read of, like, what, like, stupid poke he's going to do, and I try to, like, get around it. Yeah, sure. Um, and then if he goes into stance, like, you know, you have Meki to deal with it. And you have really good punishment uh, on Yoshi because there's a lot of minus twelves that uh, Taki can punish. Uh, flying through, uh, please tell me we're past uh, the halfway point for the characters. <laughs> uh, you've got two B Voldo, Zas, Geralt, Nightmare, Siegfried, Cass, Ivy, Zhanghua, Hao, and Seska. <laughs> okay. Uh, our goal would be fifteen minutes. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Um, and do you think you can fly through all of these in 15 minutes? No, but I can try. Um, but uh, okay. 
Short and sweet well, time. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, thank you for having the stream, and thanks to everyone uh, still sticking with us. Um, uh, sorry, I did uh, 3B for two hours, but I think it's worth mentioning. <laughs> uh, Perfect. So I just want to show off one thing here, uh, mm -hmm. and then I'll just talk the rest of the matchup. Uh, do do do. No, that's not it. Aggression? Uh, how do I go in aggression? 6B, B6. Okay, there thank you. Go, you. Yeah. There you okay, go, yeah. so... I think I talked about uh, Taki being a really good character for, like, challenging stance. Uh, and this matchup is, like, no exception. <laughs> Wait, <look. laughs> 93 damage on 6B, B6 into her <laughs> fastest... Tra what? Uh... You know why? Because... Bro, Taki's broken. You're getting a lot of bonus damage for air hit and back turn hit. Uh, yeah, oh my god. Look at that! Stalker <laughs> KA does the, the most damage in that combo. Do that again one more time. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> okay. Um, this was, um, like, a change from, like, one patch or two patches ago or whatever, and it's just hilarious that it's still in. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so that's more of a did you know, uh, and almost a side note to like, yeah, Taki can punish stance pressure uh, pretty well as long as she's like willing to make the read. Yeah. Um, so if you try to pre in this matchup, you're going to have an easier time just like hanging back and punishing mistakes. Uh, easier than like you know like rushing uh to be down because like her neutral is kind of good she has like pretty good range yeah um and when you're inside like uh yeah it's still um it still feels pretty good just because you have all the fast taki tools but um but if to be wants to be aggressive and she's going to stance then like you have a lot of ways to like challenge her stance stuff and that's just one example out of like a million um Relevant punishment game, if she does like the fast barrier, you can that's my sixteen, you can three B that. Um she has a lot of opportunities just like interrupt with four B. And even just like neutral tools, like two B has a lot of minus twelve, minus sixteen moves on block, which is really relevant for Taki, because at minus sixteen she can three B. Yeah. Oh damn, three B's coming back again. Oh yeah, just just loop back. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Um, I haven't explored Meki too. Have I explored Meki? Uh, Meki is relevant. Um, there's like a few like block punishes where you can just Meki to deal with string pressure. Uh, so yeah, Meki once again, uh, awesome. Um, if anyone has trouble with the matchup, um, try just kind of like playing safe and just minimize your move list and just purely just like punish mistakes and like make reads. And uh, I believe Taki can like out damage uh, to be in this respect. Damn, just so. Um, Omega's basically saying, in regards to the Taki 2B matchup, just lab the 50-50s, bro. <laughs> um, you know, that's to say, like, okay, 2B soul charts, super duper scary. Um, and we are talking about, like, her, like, long-range neutral. But, like, yeah, when she has soul charge, uh, super scary. But um, you also have a scary soul charge, so you kind of, like, match meter for meter there. Yeah. Um, and then if they do something bad in stance, you know, CE that, you know, my old-time favorite. CE punishing it with Taki is like one of the best feelings in this entire game. <laughs> I, I'm happy you, uh, the Mitsu player, is saying that. Whoop. I'm yeah. not a Mitsu player anymore. I dropped Mitsu ages ago. Fuck that <gasps> character. But dude, he. Oh my god, it's 98 damage. That was. Did that counter hit? <laughs> Wait, I never knew that. Hang on. <laughs> uh. Oh wow, okay. So that's like a back turn hit? Cool. So oh, this is why I think Taki's back turns. <laughs> Counts as back turns. What the fuck? Because, like, that's more damage than neutral. That's almost 100. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So, uh, just see E2B. You'll be fine. <laughs> Damn. Um, again, that's just one example that's not, like, indicative of the entire matchup, but, like, that's just, like, one example. There's a lot of interactions that, like, Taki is, like, you know, favored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but Soul Charge can delete you. That is, like, always, um, a fact. Yeah, 2B Soul Charge is just one of the most, like, brain-dead baby things that this game has come up with recently. That's awesome fun. to say that, because, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, this will be a short section, um, 
she's a spacing character, so that time gives you know that part gives Taki a hard time. Like yeah. two two A spacing mixed with like one K spacing, like that's pretty annoying. Luckily, his back step in um front turn is like kinda shit. <laughs> so you have <laughs> opportunities to um approach. Uh as long as you don't get too flustered from like two two A or like one K spacing. Mm -hmm. Um his blind stance, uh how do I go to bang oh uh six A. 4A? Yeah. Uh, good movement there, but, like, he can't really, like, space out in, um, blind stance. Like, he has, like, 4K whatever, but he has to be kind of close. Um, this is kind of, like, your signal to, like, just rush in. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, and hopefully you don't get, like, counter hit. Uh, the fact that you have a, a 12 frame mid makes, um, dealing with Mantis Crawl, like, a little easier. Just because, like, you know, 12 frame mid, like, you can interrupt, like, right here, uh, during certain transitions. So it's, like, really relevant, mm -hmm. um, 12 frame mid. Uh, another character I want uh, more uh, experience with because like he just got buffed, so they could be relevant. Nobody, um, but... nobody plays his bloody character. <laughs> um, I wonder if Yu Toto is out playing him again. But uh, yeah, I hate two two a spacing. Um, but like anything else you can deal with, his block punishment is like actually garbage. Uh, so like you can throw out like an unsafe move like every now and then. And he can't punish you like too 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 hard for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, so just try, kind of treat him as like a, a whip punish character. Don't whiff, easy, easy clap. <laughs> just don't whiff once mm -hmm. again. Uh, how are we doing our fifteen minute timer? Uh, not bad. <laughs> oh, did did you put a stopwatch up? Uh, no, I don't. I'm just you know to my head. Oh, uh, gotcha, uh, gotcha, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Zasano. Um, a lot of room to uh for Taki to mash. Uh, Zasano is not a, a zoning character. Uh, in fact, you know, his mechanic is, like, the pull you in. Mm -hmm. But, like, pulling a Taki up close and just kind of, like, doing, you know, the gap close for Taki uh, feels pretty good, you know? Um, but the main thing is that, like, he has... Taki has really relevant punishes for uh, 3AB. You know, if they do the oh, fast option... I wonder what 3AB is on minus. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's a 3B again. <laughs> I, I know you're blown away. Um... And there's a there's about a 12 frame gap, so like 12 frame mid, you know, once again, do do do, very relevant. Uh, maybe you can Mickey that too, but like, you know, yeah, four ba, no need for uh, execution. Just uh, make the read, and you know, interrupt. Um, the fact that he's like one of the best characters in game for punishing movement means like your opportunities for a six could be limited. Mm -hmm. But like, you know. You just play a 2D game, and, like, you're actually, like, going to be fine. Uh, and then, you know, we'll do the same thing that you said about, like, moving with a purpose, you know? Take your plus two. Um, you know, take a sidestep in situations where you're not going to get 3AB counter hit kind of thing. Yeah, and exactly. Then, 3A or yeah. 6A, really. Mm -hmm. And those are your opportunities to, like, get your A6 lethal. Um, but for the most part, this is going to be a 2D game um, and, like, a punishment game. Uh, you still kind of have to stagger every once in a while because, you know, he has, like, got CEs and he's got 4-6-B uh, with curses, which is the best move in the universe. Um, it's but, like... Good, yeah. yeah, but you can play around that. That's also the mill. Um, you can mash up close, uh, be careful about stepping, um, deal with his, uh, string pressure, which I think Taki has some of the best tools to, uh, deal with it. Um, you just have to make the read. And if you guess wrong, it's not that bad. You can, like, still find opportunity to mash. <laughs> Just find the opportunity to mash in all of these situations. <laughs> yep, you know, he, uh, he doesn't, like, he has a uh, fastest move to 12 frame, and, like, he kind of lacks a uh, 14 frame, like, B. And, like, I feel like that's kind of relevant. Yeah, he does have a 14 frame mid, but, like, he doesn't have a traditional, like, you know, 14 frame B that, like, you know, saves yeah. him. Yeah, exactly. Like, 16 frame B, like, wow. Um, it's right. fine. Uh, right. Not unwinnable either way. Uh, Zasamel still has some stuff, but uh, I think it's a fine matchup for Taki. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to be on the record and say uh, I was most stressed out about this uh, section of the tutorial in general. <laughs> but you're doing, you're doing really well, dude. Like, perfectly fine. Thank you so much. You're going um, through every single character... <clears throat> as in-depth as you need to you're not like taking too much time explaining one specific thing it's it's great 
Yep. And then, you know, if there's like micro interactions with any character that, you know, anyone's curious with, then, you know, I'm on Twitter, I'm on the Discord, uh, you know, just hit me up. Mm. Uh, or any of the Taki players, because a lot of this tech comes from, uh, you know, the Fuma Clan Ninja Discord. Uh, so, like, shout outs to everyone who contributed to tech, and, you know, we all, like, grew together from that uh, Discord. Uh, so, Nightmare. Um, so, yeah, uh, you might say, like, yeah, this is another one of those matchups where, you know, I win close and, you know, Nightmare wins far. Mm -hmm. um, what makes this extra awkward is Nightmare's armor and mixing that up with uh, Reversal Edge. Cause, yeah, um, damn right. uh, so here's the, the one thing that stresses me out. Uh, let's do, let's just do Reversal Edge right here. No stalkering over that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, can I side stalker? Yeah, I guess I can do that. Um, but you can't really confirm. You have to commit. Um, but yeah, that's one of the things. So the most annoying thing for me about this matchup is if a Nightmare mixes up between Reversal Edge and uh, Armor. Because for the most part, if you can't deal with it with Armor, you can deal with it with Reversal Edge. And he has some of the best Reversal Edge options in the game. Yeah, no one and that can be mm -hmm, that can be really scary, but thank God for this move. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh God, if I didn't have this move, uh, this would be a terrible matchup for Taki. Ninja but... Cannon. <laughs> thank God for this move, but like, but that's that's like one of the things you have to be careful about. Like, you know, just kind of like your pressure. Just like you have to like bait out the the defensive options or like make a read of what he's not gonna do and then like you know execute. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, like, I want to say Taki does win up close, but, like, it's one of those things where, like, you have to do it intelligently. Um, otherwise, she does way too much damage. Um, and a fun thing uh, before we move on. <laughs> do, do, do. Um, yep. <laughs> on reaction. Or uh, <laughs> absorb. Wait, that works. Huh. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, uh, was that a change I'm not aware of? What, <laughs> what are you trying to do? <clears throat> do, do, do. Was it only on a fully oh. charged CE? You know, maybe not fully charged. Huh. Okay, I'll already explore this. Um, oh, the last time on. I labbed this, um, I was able to get a Rising A absorbed and go right into CE. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, huh. Can I not do that anymore? Maybe I'm not labbing it right. I'll go back to it later. But, like, the fact that Nightmare, like, has a CE is, like, it doesn't make or break, like, Nightmare matchups, you know? So, mm -hmm. I just thought it was, like, a neat thing. Neat little trick, yeah. Um, and the other thing is, like, you know, Nightmare stance pressure, um, where you can typically like two A stuff, uh, so like, eh, like something like that, like that can be scary because you can't do verticals, right? Um, so you're supposed to just do a uh, a two A to shut down the Grimstride. Sure. Um, but like you have A six, so you get much more damage and you get a knockdown. Oh, uh, apparently which is much it doesn't work versus C E armor, just bubble armor. <clears throat> oh, okay. Thanks for the clarification. Uh, uh, oh, graves. oh, okay. That's that's where okay. That's where I got mixed up. Oh, that one. Okay, it wasn't CE. There we go. That's what I was doing. <laughs> okay, that is pretty sick. <laughs> okay, all, all armor moves look the same, so please forgive me, chat. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, rising A can be pretty effective, just because like if you're trying to bait out the um. You know, the armor, then you can yeah. do that. It's actually um, some sick tech. Yep, and then if they do Reversal Edge, um, I don't think... I think Reversal Edge deals with the Rising A, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's a, it's a mix-up. Um, and I think you have a bit of a... No, you, you should be able to get away with it, actually, but... Um, yeah, there's a lot of micro-interactions. Um, A6 is very good in this matchup. Um, that shuts down Grimstride, and you have a lot of ways to blow up his uh, defensive options. Uh, and that's about it. <laughs> um, still stresses me out though, just because like you make one mistake and like half my life is gone. <laughs> yeah, nightmare damage is um, 
something to behold, especially if you get tech trapped. Mm -hmm. Um, and like the th uh, the throw range uh, can like be pretty tough, just because like he has his big arm, and you have these like tiny T Rex arms for throw range. <laughs> true, very true. Uh, Siegfried, almost done, I think. Um, this is One, a two, fine matchup. Three, four, um, five, six, yeah, six more left, six more to go. And then we still got one more section. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and that and that one will be short. Um, so, uh, again, Taki up close, uh, Siegfried spaces out, uh, makes it frustrating. Um, the one thing that uh, Taki has going for her is the fact that like Taki's sorry, Siegfried's backstep is uh pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Um, if Siegfried had like. Cervantes backstep, then like I imagine this being a lot more frustrating for uh, Taki, um, but Siegfried does have the advantage of, of like you know doing AGAs and just doing like long range stuff. Um, but the fact that like he can't like backstep, uh, whatever. The fact that he can't like backstep really well makes your approach tools like really relevant. Um, or you just run up block and it's going to be fine. <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah, uh, you can take advantage of his bad backstep, um, and when you're up close, like his close buttons to uh, challenge you is not that scary unless it's like a uh, counter hit fisher like three B or A side B. Right. Because um, if he wants to slow you down, like you know, like he has these like kicks, like okay, it's uh, it's okay, but like you know, two K that's like frame advantage for Taki, uh, but damage is like. Not really relevant, so like talk your seek read either has to like be really defensive or like make a read and throw out like a three B or something, right? But um Taki can block punish both three B and rising B uh on block. So as long as you're like staggering your offense and like you know, you're like block right here, then like oh, you right, can block punish. Can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So rising B, you have to A6 it. Um, if you block 3B, you can go either way, A6 or, um, 4B. Um, and most worth worthy in this matchup? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, very relevant punish for A slide B. This is oh so important. Oh my god, really? Ugh. That's ridiculously strong. And, uh, this will get around the, uh, the ballerina trolls too, so, like, this is super helpful because this like minimizes how much reverse mix-up secret can do um oh but God. okay but tip range it can be a little awkward but like you see you see that right there yeah but like i mean tip range makes it safer though right makes it minus 14 yeah. instead of minus 16. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah it would make point. sense it's uh different properties but damn that's actually super good that you don't access like you don't trigger the uh the parry on the roulette spin Yep, you just, uh, you, you beat it. That is um, really good to know. So, like, his chance to get out of this is, like, you know, that, and hopefully he has, like, the spacing for it. Um, I think I can call it... Okay, so, if he does the, um, what is it, that, uh, back stance step, uh, into the low, um, I can <laughs> call it out with a 3B Stalker KA. Really? Uh, yeah, I can demonstrate well, but it. it um, but it's a hard read, right? Yeah, it's a hard read. Yeah. Um, because, you know, maybe they won't do it, but, like, if they do something like that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, it's a hard read, but it's worth, uh, exploring. Ugh. <laughs> My god. Uh, that looks like just galaxy brain stuff. <laughs> yeah. But, like, if he, do if he doesn't do the move, then, you know, like, he doesn't, uh, do the extra back step, and then, like, that can feel bad. But, like, that's yeah. that's a neat little thing with, uh, Taki Secret matchup. That is actually um, super sick. But, yeah, don't let, uh, Secret space you out. You'll be fine. If you're up close, you win. And don't be afraid to approach, because his backstep is, uh, is ass. <laughs> it really is garbage. Um, and then, you know, 3B, you can step. A6 is relevant. Um, oh, and, uh, don't get 50 50 <laughs> That can be hard to deal with. But you have fast <laughs> you interrupts. Lab the matchup, bro. Lab yeah, the 50 50 lab, yeah, just, bro. Learn the matchup. Um, but, like, you might have opportunities, like, challenge 50 50s because your, like, your interrupts are so fast, but, yeah. like, you know, it's best to try to not get yourself in that position in the first place. Yeah, of course. Um, That's a Cass? Um, so I just heard that um, her AA is no longer plus two and hits, uh, plus zero. Plus zero now, yeah. Uh, that's great for me. <laughs> well, it's great for everyone. Plus two on hit was dumb. 
Uh, um, this is kind of similar to the uh, the Taki Amy matchup, where it's like you know it's a kind of a spacing game until it gets explosive. Sure. Um, but you can definitely exploit the fact that like you know far range, uh, Cassandra's like approach tools or rather her horizontal tracking is uh, not that great. Uh, which means that like A6 is like online. Like six is A is okay, but like it doesn't have that much range and it's like Mickey punishable. Is it Mickey punishable? It's minus eight, really? Yeah, it's Mickey punishable. <laughs> <laughs> My days. Yeah. So uh, this will be the only time where uh you get to have a discussion about eight frame punishes. <laughs> yeah, and the other um, there was one other situation as well where earlier on. I've already forgotten it. <laughs> oh grow um grow four A6 into Yep. Is there Avenger B? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, and um, we talked about, like, Amy stuff. Um, like, there are several of those, like, situations that, um, mm, you know, yeah. not going to have time to cover everything. But, yeah, that's the power of the 8-frame again. But uh, with this matchup, yeah, similar. Um, A6 is absolutely online because her best tools are, like, you know, vertical. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that she doesn't have, like, good, like, horizontals. Um, like, if you step something and you eat a horizontal, it's not the end of the world. Like, you still have, like, some room to mash or, you know, just take your... Uh, block punishes or uh just counter poke sure um this might be a really short section uh what's neat about this um okay so the only thing so i talked about the problems with uh, her 18 frame punish but like this is one of the more consistent ones uh i should have this on block uh cool move bro <laughs> Damn. um that's worth mentioning hey, just because it. like <laughs> wait is that move minus 18 that's minus 18. What the fuck have I been um, doing with my life? I've not been punishing that at all. You know, uh, when she has DF, I think that's minus 12. It so would that make might sense, be with, yeah. That might be where the confusion, because, you know, she calls the power of Zeus. But, like... Oh, no, it's definitely is... not that that's confusion. It's just that I'm an idiot and didn't realize it was minus 18. <laughs> no, 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 you're not. <laughs> <laughs> um, she wants to do this when to, like, catch step, because, like, it has, like, pretty good, like... Oh, it catches step pretty good, but, like... Um, this is worth knowing, noting just because, like, this is one of the handful of, uh, punishes where, like, Taki can actually get, uh, her, you know, optimal 18 frame punish and not just 3B. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, uh, spacing game until it gets explosive, but Taki has an 8 frame, uh, and she has A6 lethal. I think it's a fine matchup. Um, but Cassandra can be pretty oppressive. Um, oh, yeah, you just have to play good old Soul Calibur defense, you know, make a read, uh, use your defensive options get her off you <laughs> mm. before we move on to um the next character what do you think about cast 1b uh cast 1b um yeah. so not it's... in the context of tacky just what do you think about the move uh i think it's fine um okay get out the damage is uh whatever for uh get out what is this a 20 frame move get out <laughs> Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm detecting that you hate this move a lot. <laughs> oh, I despise this move so much. Um, everything I hate about a low. Yeah, when, when I first saw this, when Cassandra get released, like, oh my god, this, this character is amazing, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, you already know the counterplay, like, you know, it, it's kind of linear, so A6 is online for a yeah. lethal hit. Um, and if you block it, then you can RCC, um, uh, BK. Uh, which is plus six for uh, really good damage. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess for that's true. Speed. Um, but other than that, uh, you're right. I, I hate this move, but thank God it's linear. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess that is its saving grace, is that it is incredibly linear. Yeah, but like, if she's like pressing you in the face and like your back is against the wall, then like this can be like pretty frustrating to deal with. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, make your reads, have good defenses. It's going to be fine. Um, and she's not one of those characters that can like, um, you know, backstep you all day, or like you know, take small mm -hmm. frame vengeance. Um, she wants she wants to keep pushing. Yeah. Um, and I think those are like potential openings for Taki to uh start her own offense. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, all right, last four characters. Yeah, last four. Uh, Ivy. Ivy. Uh. So. E yeah. Thank you. Uh, very. Yeah, this is interesting. Um, uh, yeah, she can space you out. That's like what Ivy does. Um, but you have some opportunities, like, you know, if she does, uh, what is it, A6, you can just go right over that and just get the lethal hit. Oh, wow. Uh, which okay. feels good. Um, no, that's not it. 
Oh god, uh, shuriken? You know what, just, just do the move. <laughs> just do the damn move, Ivy. Okay, but spaced out. So like, round one fight kind of situation, like, you know, they kind of have to think about that. Uh, obviously he can do a counter read, uh, and like, do the Ivy Lick. But like, I don't have many opportunities to do uh, Stalker B, so this is just like one of them. Yeah. If you're expanding your move choice. Um, and this applies to, um, 2B. Um, near Automata character, uh, mm -hmm. 2B's, um, Rocket Punch thing. Um, that's also an opportunity where you can potentially react and do Stalker B for lethal hit. Oh, right, yeah. Right? Because <laughs> she's, she's so doing, like, she's spending so much time doing, like, the back step where, like, you know, you're in the air doing ninja shit, so. <laughs> <laughs> in the air doing ninja shit. <laughs> that literally could have um, been the entire tutorial. <laughs> 10 minute countdown. Hi, I'm Dan. This is Omega. Just be in the air, do ninja shit. <laughs> end of <laughs> end of fucking stream. We can save ourselves uh, three hours. And uh, exactly. <laughs> I, see, I see Holy Karpa saying occasionally this gets around Ivy Lick, uh, which, you know, I'm I'm laughing with Taki. Yeah. Um, but As obviously, you like, you're not, not going to play like the whole matchup like this. Uh, I just thought it was like neat. Um, but yeah, tried and true scenario. Um, Taki up close, Ivy up far. When Taki is up close, Ivy does not have a traditional 2A, unlike Mina, to like slow you down. What Ivy has to do is essentially like take a risk uh, to like get out of Taki's pressure situation. Mm -hmm. um, she can to do 2A, but it's like slower than the traditional one. Uh, she can do 214B, which is highly evasive and actually deals with a lot of Taki stuff, but it's highly punishable on uh, block, uh, especially since it's uh, Taki's block punish uh, game. Yeah. Um. And yeah, uh, once you're in close, uh, you have a lot of room to like mash. Um, and CS, like we talked about in the Astroth matchup, um, she has a big whiff window on CS, so that gives you opportunity to like duck, react, A6 lethal. That's pretty sick. Yep. Uh, so that's it. Getting close, you're gonna be fine. Um, she has to take a risk to like get you, you know, off of her. Uh, and as long as you approach like smartly, then like Ivy can have a hard time up close. But you have to watch out for her evasive tools. Um, so occasionally, just pressure, block, and then punish with like 4B. And if she pushes you out, uh, approach intelligently because she can definitely like get a good amount of damage in before you're like you know get a chance to like get up close. Um, and that is it in a nutshell. Um, that's the Ivy matchup. Uh, a lot harder in previous patches than now, because they keep... Uh... Oh, and they nerfed Christmas tree. Oh, my God. <laughs> they did, yeah. It's minus 16 now. You can 3B literally at all ranges. Uh, that is crazy, because um, before patch, I was going to say that Taki might have the most consistent punish for Christmas tree. Um, consistent in the way that, like, everyone else is so inconsistent, where, like, even getting a punish two times out of nine is, like, a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but now it's consistent, so no point in talking about that. Um, but yeah, that's what I was kind of proud of. I can block Christmas tree pre-patch, and you know I kind of have a punish for it as long as I have the spacing. I mean, now it's just even easier to land. So yes. So, <laughs> uh, sorry, Ivy players. I, I I love you all. Like, don't hate. No, me. he doesn't. He hates you. No, I. But... He hates all oh, of you. All of you. Holy Carp was awesome. We hung out in uh, Vegas. It was, it was a wonderful time. Okay, everybody except Holy Carp. All Ivy players except... But he's not He's not an Ivy player anymore. He's a Setsuka main. Oh, boo. Oh, no, Setsuka's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so many emotions uh -oh. in that three seconds. <laughs> yeah, I, I went through a lot. Um, Shenhua, let's go. Um, so normally when Taki has to fight like a close range character um it can be pretty like good for Taki because Taki can like hang back and do 3b spacing or whatever right uh mm -hmm. strong like feels kind of tough um mainly because like she can crouch she can uh so she has a 10 frame uh crouch throw mm -hmm. um <laughs> yeah it it is super relevant uh here's an example Huh? Only character in the game that can punish this. What? <laughs> Ten frames. <laughs> what? I gotta hold that. <laughs> Who else um, knew about this? Who else was complicit in this and allowed this to go forward? Uh, 
Shen Yuan knows about it. Um, Shen Yuan? Okay, Shen Yuan's gonna have to get banned from everything now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like, I guess you can bait it, but, like, dude, like, it has, like, a small, like, whiff window, so, like, it can kind of be hard. But, uh, okay, mm, here's something so. that's gonna make you laugh. Ready? Oh, don't make me cry. Oh, oh let's right, see. right, yeah. Yeah, 3B tech crap. I know, I know. I've I've been yeah. through this pain. I've been through this pain cup with all the moves that I have. Like, Maxi being fucking low grabbed for out of 6A plus B is the worst. Like, it's, dude, it's everything. Like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't do anything fun against her. Um, yeah, well, X is, like, one of the most anti-fun characters in the game. Oh, God. And even 6A plus B? Like... All talking is like, so all, all this means is that like when it comes to turn steal, like this is what you have to think about. <laughs> Ridiculous. You, know, like, you can't even do that. Um, so that's the most interesting like part of this matchup that's like unique to like these two characters like facing mm -hmm. up against each other. Like the crotch grab is like, oh my god. Um, but just make the adjustments. You can play around it. Like just bait it, and I guess you can whip punish it, even though um it's kind of hard. Yeah. Um stuff for Taki is that she has a whole bunch of stuff that can, like, she can Mickey punish. Uh, it's not gonna discourage Sheng Hua from doing those tools, like, you know, a lot, but, like, it's enough to make Taki kind of feel good. Um, that's minus 12. Um, why wasn't that... Do, do, do. Okay. Execution. Uh, so, yeah. Safe, uh, yeah. launcher, except against Taki. Um, again, like, it's tech crash, so, like, you know, Shanghua players should just keep abusing this all day. Like, eating 10 damage is not going to be the end of the world for them. But for a Taki player, like, you might as well just cash out, you know, if it's free. If you can, Ten yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's not just, like, it's full crash 3B, it's 2 2B. Um, she has, like, a lot of minus 8s that you can, like, make you punish. Yeah. Again, it's, like, it doesn't swing the matchup too hard, but, like, it's, an it's enough to make you feel good. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to feel good in my life. Um... It's also, just, cool. it's also it's it's a big it's a big dick flex, right? It's like the only <laughs> yeah, character yeah. in the cast that can punish that move. That's that's the gist of uh why you should pick up Taki, right? Like just the big dick flex, like <laughs> big dick execution. Dick flex, like... Um I mean, yeah, and... yeah, I have to agree. When you see like a, a crazy execution combo from from like a lethal hit or something, I'm like, oh my god, that was so sick. Yeah. Um and I love Taki for that. Um when Shanghua gets a meter. Uh, oh, it's uh, yep. You have to limit your uh, move list, similar to like as well matchup. Like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like, like that's a that's a true punish, I believe. No, is that gonna whiff? Actually, huh? Okay, never mind. She can do uh, it to Yoshi Mitsu when he's in Super Dragonfly or something. Right. Okay, what is a true punish? It is uh, a, uh, the A six Windrill mixups. Mm -hmm. Um, that's free. Six six B. Normally safe for most of the cast, but against Shanghua, uh, yeah. Um, limit your move list when Shanghua has meter. Uh, you're not allowed to do this when she has meter. Uh, well, even like the three, because all she has to do is like wait for you to land and then do CE. Yeah. Um, so it's important for you to like do three B sparingly, so that she's not looking for this punish. Yeah. So right. maybe something like that can happen. Um, so. If another close range character gives you, the Taki player, a hard time, uh, try being patient, try being defensive. Uh, look for your minus eights, uh, and better punish Shanghua. Uh, and, you know, Taki can challenge Shanghua in a lot of spots, but those are, uh, those are the spots that, like, really stress me out with, like, her CE and her <laughs> crotch grab. Uh, and she has a 10 frame AA, so, like, Super stress. Yeah, yeah, for real. Um, 10 frame AA. So, like, that kind of keeps you honest with, like, trying to fish for those, like, A6 lethals. But, like, yeah. not a lot of damage. So, like, this shouldn't be too discouraging. And you can just, like, blow it up uh, with 3B or something. So, that seems that's to be a pretty, like, a pretty good universal thing to do with, like, while rising A, punish with 3B. <laughs> exactly. Like, I, I feel like I can't autopilot this matchup. I have to, like, have a brain and not just 3B <laughs> all day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely, I feel the same way about playing, playing against X. Mm -hmm. Um, right. and oh, so interesting. And oh my god, is a uh... last oh, two god. before we get into our final section. Okay, uh, this is easy. Um, because like these are new characters. Uh, Haramaru, um, might be a tough matchup for Taki. Uh, I'll just throw up the portrait. 
Um, uh, he has good backstep, like best backstep in the game, and he has long tools. Uh, but chase him intelligently, you're gonna be fine. You win up close. Um, but don't get whip punish. Uh, he wants to frustrate you at long range. Um, I said this a million times for a lot of the cast, but that's Harmo's game plan. Just like poke you, backstep, uh, and find an opportunity for uh, mix-ups. Mm -hmm. Uh, for now, Seska is being a new, being a new character in this patch. Um. For now, I think it's Taki favored, just because um, a lot of opportunities for A6 lethal. Uh, she can technically punish 3-3-B on block, but that doesn't matter if you step 3-3-B, because it has no vertical tracking, so you just A6 lethal that for free. Um, and the fact that Seska does not have a 10 frame, um, that gives Taki access to, like, um, basically her entire move list. Um, you know, Rising K is minus 10, but, like, Seska can't punish it. Um, Unfortunately. Yeah, that's Rising K, um, 3A. Um, pretty good matchup for Taki, um, and your punishment game is better as long as you don't give her an opportunity to do her, uh, 16 frame umbrella. Oh, sorry, 16 frame, um, twister. <laughs> yeah. Or 14 frame umbrella. Or 14 frame umbrella, exactly. Um, yeah. but, like, she's so linear where, like, you know, you just find your opportunities to do lethal hit A6, make it really scary for her. Um, and just, like, you know, poke her down with, uh, minus 10 stuff that she can't punish very well. Yeah, it's true. Um. Oh God! All that made me sweat, but I think we don't match ups. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Dump the <laughs> match up. Uh, well, everything was as in depth as it needed to be, and I'm sure once we post this on YouTube, um, well, once Horseface edits it and puts it on YouTube for me, um, he usually like cuts up every single section. Like I won't ask him to cut up the individual match ups, but. The mashup part is easily the most in-depth and probably the most helpful part of this entire tutorial so far because it's been super in-depth. But we're not even done yet. we got one more section. And that yep, section is buffs, nerfs, changes, and adjustments. Lucky Once again, <laughs> this is a very much opinion-based tutorial, as are all the others, as are everybody's wishes for each of their characters. This is Omega's opinion. And if you disagree with it, you are totally entitled to do that. Just do it in a civil way. And if you want to have a conversation with him about it, I'm sure he'd be more than happy to take DMs and talk about it on Twitter or whatever. But yeah, it's an opinion. So don't get your knickers in a twist, as we say in the UK. Right. Take it away, Omega. Um, so thanks for that disclaimer. Uh, fortunately, um, I've actually taken like a pretty like even approach to this. Mm -hmm. um, because like... Uh, talk, fellow Taki player Arctic Komodo kind of like put uh, a lot of like you know stuff that needs to be looked at perhaps uh, in this 30 minute um, Taki video uh, on YouTube. Uh, so perhaps uh, I can link that sometime in the future. But um, I guess uh, the one thing is that like um, perhaps the buffer system, uh, you know, that's like universal. All characters can like benefit. But like mm -hmm. uh, I find when I'm doing like my buck punishes like A6 and 4B, just like you know. Not all minus tens like stun the same. Not all minus four twelves like stun the same. Like, I would like if if we can have like a better like buffer system, so like have more like predictable like you know block punish timings. Yeah. Um, that would actually be a pretty big buff for Taki. Uh, just being able to have like more consistent like minus ten uh punishes where you have to execute. Um, that's a pretty like political like politically correct uh, like <laughs> buff to ask for. <laughs> um, but like. <laughs> But yeah, like so many times, like I'll try to go for my minus ten, and like I just like botch it up, and like I feel like it's a different kind of buffer system than previous games. But if I can have like that improved, then like you know the way I like to play, this will improve me like by a lot. Like just being able to get my like minus ten punishes, and having all my minus tens be like you know all pretty predictable as far as like execution. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like that's not something what people want to hear. They want to hear just like controversial shit. Uh <laughs> Well, um, some people will. Some people will want an actual balanced opinion on stuff. Okay. Um, in that case, I will show you the worst lethal hit in the game. <laughs> Ooh, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, and Taki players already know this. Um, so, so you'll show us the worst lethal hit in the game and then tell us what needs adjusting, right? Yep, so here we go. Did you know this lethal hits? I did actually know that lethal hit. For so, some reason, I don't know, but it does. Why is my execution finally good? Um, so the problem with this is that like the only way this lethal hits is only only if you guard crush with two two K. 
<laughs> like, <laughs> really? there's no other way to do it. Because Dev's had fun making that lethal hit. Like, there's no time right now. Like, that's not enough time. This is the only way, because it's a natural win roll transition. <laughs> and not only that, you get less damage than, like, doing anything else. So, okay, here's optimal damage. I'm not going to do lethal hit. <laughs> Why does that do more damage than my lethal hit? <laughs> okay, bro. So, okay, so, you know, your argument may be like, okay, so, like, maybe you want meter, okay? Like, the meter gain, that's good, whatever. But in Soul Calibur 6, you know, every lethal hit gives you both. It gives you meter and damage. So why do I have to choose? Why can't I just have both? It's a lethal hit. Like, I looked for this. Give me more damage than my non-lethal hit combo. Uh, absolutely, that needs to take a, another look at. In my opinion. <laughs> mm. I mean, um, if you had to change it in some capacity, what would you want to happen to it? Oh, um, you know what? So, so this is a win roll A lethal, right? So, uh, I don't know. It just has to be a uh, has to be a different condition. Um, like they want like so a lethal hit post guard break. Like I'm down for, but it can't be win roll A. It's just way too slow. Yeah. Um, like that does more damage. Like maybe that can lethal hit. Like, I'm willing to accept this, maybe. Just, like, more damage than the 66 for this. Um, so, maybe this can lethal off of if you break with win roll A. Then mm -hmm. your next... I uh, don't oh, know. Uh, that doesn't actually make sense. Um, but I'm okay with having lethal hit for win roll A. But, like, I don't think it can be after guard break. Because, like, that's literally the only situation uh, where you can actually get the lethal hit. Which is off of 2-2-K. Which is a move I'm not a fan of. Um, okay. It's a good break move, but like I hate that I get less damage than my like you know non-lethal. Yeah. I did, that uh. doesn't make any sense. For some <laughs> reason they put it in. Who fucking knows? Yeah, 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 dude. Um, but like she has like a chip damage mechanic, so maybe it can tie into like how much chips she got on block. Um, just throwing out ideas. <laughs> Possibly, yeah, sure. I mean, it's a wish list kind of, so why not? Yeah. Um. But that feels bad. Um, more range on uh, 6A, because I think I said that, like, okay, so if they look out for 6A plus B to catch back steps, uh, they're going to, you know, sidestep, right? Mm -hmm. um, so a little more range for 6A might do the trick, because uh, to me, this is not that much range, uh, especially if they're going to, like, uh, do a sidestep. And 16, that might be okay, but, like, you know, you, you can step guard it, essentially. Like, it's not going to catch anything. Um, which is probably fine. Like, I just want to touch him. I don't care if it's on hit or on block, because, you know, I have, um, just this, touch because him. that's, that, that, that's, yeah, I just want to touch him. Um, this is chip damage and safe, so, like, but none of that matters if it whips, so maybe more range on 6A. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, you know, very general changes, like, uh, maybe another look at, like, the lesser used, uh, possession moves. Um, that one's okay, but it's, like, minus 16, so, like, I'm kind of afraid to use this, even though at plus zero uh this can jump two a's uh well um, yeah and, that makes sense actually yeah and apparently that breaks but uh yeah that's a lesser move uh yes lesser used move um oh my god uh, a mix-up to this would be great because i refuse to do this move because like too many characters in the game can blow you up for, <laughs> well, like this. um so, so if you get like the whole cover four like you know low then like i think like I think that would be cool to, like, you know, make this actually, like, semi-useful. Well, would you want a 50-50 from it, or would you want a high-low? Ooh. Uh, no, yeah, I want mid-low. 50-50 um, would be nice, but, like, you know, whatever they feel is, like, balanced. But, like, at this point, like, you get punished way too hard by just, like, touching this move. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, uh, I mean to be to be the kind of, I guess not the voice of reason, but, uh, like, the counter voice, is the, isn't the whole point of that move to kind of hard read... So that you get the lethal hit, like you jump over a move. Uh, yeah, that, that's true. But like, um, I, I I don't find many spots to, like to use it. And then like, if she guesses wrong, uh, you know, she gets blown up for it. So yeah, I can see that point. Like, it's high risk, high reward, fifty fifty, like for both like, uh, you know, players. Yeah. But like, you know, me where like I want to like kind of control my risk reward and like overall like, you know, like Raphael is gonna like, you know, laugh at you. <laughs> oh yeah, or, no, uh, like for sure. If you do that, if you throw that move out, and it's the wrong time, you're gonna get punished super hard. Yeah. Um. Uh, I don't know. I, you know, being on the receiving end of it, sometimes I feel like if I've made a big mistake, then you get a big reward for using that move. But you know, that's again, that's just my personal opinion on it. 
Yeah, I mean, so that's, uh, I mean, I get, so yeah, that's the design of the move, but like, um, I classify this as like lesser no, uh, lesser used possession moves, just because like it's True. You know, way too risky for like my liking. Yeah. Um, so yeah, fair enough. Possession could uh, use maybe a buff, um, and maybe more um, evasion on a distorted breeze or a side wind roll. Um, this oh yeah, has... I'm, I am totally on board with more evasion for that. Yeah. By the way, totally on board. Um, this has no um, yeah, like no sidestep at all. Um, but it it, all... it, could, it could still be caught by mids, right? Like it's not an STC. Yeah, like verticals, like just catches this no problem. Um, well, no, I'm talking about um, I'm talking about uh, Hori oh. mids. Yeah. Oh, the um, the the garden pack. No, does a Hori mid catch that roll? Oh, to interrupt. Uh, yeah. Um, or even just like verticals. Um, and does mids do it? Uh, yeah, mids should be able to. Yeah, it it, just, it doesn't evade anything. Although Baddy's saying it does STC. Okay, then maybe I am against evasion. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so maybe if, like, you could take away the STC aspect, but actually make it an evasion move. So, you know, you can still be Hori midded, but you can't, uh -huh. but obviously it actually has evasion for verticals. Yeah. Or just, uh, I don't know, something that, like, I don't, I don't want this broken, but, like, uh, there's a, there's some transitions where she can go into side win roll, so, like, it'll be nice to, like, you know, be rewarded for a read, and, like, I think he's gonna go vertical. Oh, yeah, for sure. Agreed on um, that. If you do it as a hard read, then, yeah, you should be rewarded for it and not get hit by a vertical. <laughs> Yeah, but like both the options are really powerful because they're both safe on block. Um, that does ten tip damage. Uh, it's good on break. Uh, and the horizontal mid from it is uh pretty good. But you know the trade off is you have to go into distorted breeze. Long range, it's fine. But like, uh, maybe a greedy change. But maybe this could be uh you know taken a look at as far as like evasion. Yeah, fair. Um, we could be done. Was there anything else? Um, anything more ways else? to deal with backstep, um, but we have 66 plus B, so maybe one more way to deal with backstep. Um, and oh, and bug changes. Uh, this is the last point. Um, mm -hmm. You saw really early in the stream where like I managed to get um, a like a six lethal mm -hmm. on some characters. This is gonna whiff, and it's not consistent. So I guess that's the universal um, Soul Calibur like buff request, which is like, you know, make combos, make uh, hitboxes just more consistent. Cause it's pretty um, annoying when that six BB right there. Okay, that had just happened. You see that? Yeah. What the? So okay. I, so oh, I hate it so much. Um. So yeah. So that happens. <laughs> what again. the hell? Yeah. Okay. Uh. So. And 3kk may be more reliable, but like by the wall, like even the 3kk can whiff. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, walls in this game can do funky things to combos. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I gave a little uh, maybe general change requests, um, you know, fix all bugs, whatever, and just take a look at another look at stance. And uh, maybe one more option to deal with backstep. Uh, and that is my list of changes. <laughs> And wow. if uh, if you want more, then you know check out Arctic Komodo's uh, Taki change request online on yeah. YouTube. <laughs> right. So, what normally what we do is we take questions before we get to the conclusion. Uh, but I seem to only really have one question, and it's from uh, Angel Step Style. If season three happens for Soul Calibur six, what's your wish list for Taki so far? Um, I I probably just uh, uh did the gist of it. Um. Yeah, just uh, more ways to, to kind of, like, backstep. Um, it may be, like, one more way to deal with a uh, 2A that doesn't involve me, like, being in the air. Um, mm -hmm. Other characters have, like, auto GIs to deal with that. Um, all my 2A answers are, like, involve me being in the air. And, like, if I guess wrong, then, like, I eat, like, air hit and then knock down and kind of feels bad. Um, but, like, maybe one more answer uh, that I can use for uh, anti-2A so I can deal with, like, Mina. Uh, who likes to do 2A backs up all day. Sure. Um, or a uh, greedy change, like, I'm such a big fan of, like, stance cancels, so, like, if I can find, like, you know, give me a new way to, like, you know, take advantage of these stance cancels, um, oh, that would be I, super fun for me. I agree with that, because I feel the same way for Grog. I feel like he could really benefit from more ways to stance cancel. Um, so, yeah, I'm I'm completely on board with that, you know, more creative yeah. ways to, uh, to use your mix-ups. Hell yeah. Yeah, so, um, but, I, like, you know, I'm really happy about this character. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, like, uh, this is probably the most fun I've had uh, with Taki since Soul Calibur 2. Mm -hmm. uh, even though, you know, Natsu was strong in 5, uh, 4, we don't talk about it. Um, but, like, <laughs> like, 
the, the, the things that they give her, it's like a kind of improvement on previous iterations. Like, you know, previous Soul Calibur games, like she's been known to have like a bad Oki game. And I think her Oki game is like really good in this uh, Soul Calibur game. Yeah. They gave her a ring out game for some reason. Like she's never had a strong ring out game, but now she does. So why not? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, changes for Soul, uh, S3, um, that would be it. Probably a small uh, list, but um, greedy change, uh, more cancel stuff. And another look at possession. Okay. Right. I think that concludes our questions. So now the time has come for Omega's final thoughts. The TTT conclusion. So Omega, after everything that we've just heard over the last four hours, what is a conclusion that you can draw regarding this character? Uh, first of all, I can't believe this went on for four hours, but I'm still happy, very happy to do this. I can. <laughs> um, but okay, so uh, conclusions. Um, yeah, she's not a you know 50 50 mix up character. She's not like you know hit and run backstep. Mm -hmm. um, but the way she wants to pressure is very strong for Soul Calibur Six. Um, you know, best block punishment in the game. Uh, very good tools for punish uh, punishing turtles, um, including guard break and throws. Mm -hmm. And um, and the counter hit game is just way too good. And the fact that like, you know, they have the lethal hit system in Soul Calibur Six, um, you know, kind of pushes her like over the top uh, in comparison to other iterations of the character. Yeah. Um, she is definitely not a bad character. Like, uh, you know, it's basically a meme for me now. Um, you right. just have to, uh, yeah, just play her intelligently. Um, take advantage of her, um, strengths. You know, guard break, punishment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And, you know, read your opponent. If they like the backstep, you have tools to, you know, catch all of that. Um, if you like execution, if you like cancels like I do, great character for you. Uh, if you want a way to beat Raphael, uh, Taki is great. Just be good at A6. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, and that's uh, good. She has weaknesses, which I hope get addressed in uh, Season 3 or, like, future patches. Um, but right now, I think she can definitely compete at high levels. <laughs> Okay. Uh, even in a current iteration. Yeah. All right. Is that everything you have to say, Omega XCN? Uh, well, I have to prepare for Soul Calibur Without Borders, so if you want to plug that, uh, I just wish everyone uh, you know, wishes me luck as I participate in that. Yeah, we <laughs> do have some uh, plugs to get through, but um, if I need to release you now, uh, Omega, that's fine. Quick shout out to Soul Calibur Without Borders got the link in there it's going to be at 7 p.m est 12 a.m bst it is the final 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 tournament for scwb so definitely head over to cambosa's channel and make sure you support it's going to be an emotional farewell because it's something a lot of us has worked a lot of us have worked on <clears throat> for a long time and have been promoting for and have been yeah it's just going to be an exciting incredible and emotional day so please head over to that at the appropriate times to make sure that you catch the final fight or rather final tournament of scwb um yeah so i can release you now omega but if you want to plug anything please let me know uh twitter twitch grinder i don't know what it is you're into <laughs> but <laughs> but whatever it is you want to plug let me know and i can release you and then i'll do some more plugging for some other stuff and then we'll call it a day uh, yeah, just uh, follow me on Twitter, please, uh, at OmegaXCN, um, and check out the uh, the Taki Discord. Uh, again, like, um, all this tech is just kind of like a, a community effort, so I want to thank like all the Taki players uh, in that uh, Taki Discord. And if you're not part of it, um, you know, just uh, hit me up on Twitter. I'll send you a direct link or ask one of the um, you know other Taki players. But uh, it's a good resource, and you know a lot of details that uh, I didn't you know address here because you know there's just no not enough time. <laughs> uh, but you know we can go through uh, a lot of the interactions in the game. Um, but other than that, yeah, just follow me on Twitter, check out Taki Discord, and uh, certainly check out uh, Soul Calibur Without Borders uh, Northeast Edition uh, in one hour. <laughs> in an hour, exactly. Uh, but thanks, thank you everyone for uh, joining, and thank you Don and I for uh, having me here. This was a, a really good time. Uh, sorry that it went on pretty long, but there was a lot to talk about, I guess. <laughs> no problem at all. I had a wonderful time, and I hope you all did too. So uh, we'll be saying goodbye to Mr. Omega XCN for now, and I will give you some more stuff to look forward to in the future with some plugs. So uh, yeah, in a bit, dude, and uh, good luck in SCWB.
Thank you, Darren. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining. See you later, buddy. Take care. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to support the channel, please click that subscribe button to get updates every time I upload, but I also stream on Twitch and have a Twitter account. If you'd like to follow both of those, the links are on your screen and down in the description. Take care, stay safe.